Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Time Girls Campaign 1. It is episode 68. Uh, only announcement today is that Austin will not be making it, and uh, we will be going for a good portion tonight. Uh, so strap in. I have the dog barking in the background. What else is freaking new? Uh, and we're... Oof, Jesus Christ. I, I, I wish I was out of this house. But, you know, it is what it is. This is what happens when you record something on the internet. Um... But yeah. Anyways, let's uh let's get right into it. Uh we're going to do some fun shit. That's all I know. <laughs> all right, let's go. Technically, would that be grabbing Dennis's ass if we were grabbing Dennis? Can you grab an ass's ass? And do we have a human resources department that works with us? Yes, that be me below. Cheeks. Zane's probably the most educated person in the party, so he's the human resources. Well, uh, hit the brag, but or he's well, I guess a, beep a graduated be. doctor. He has his PhD. Yeah, you're really good at dissecting people. Yeah. He or should I it. say bisecting? He just doesn't put anything back. He just he just that's the only thing he doesn't know how to do. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Um, all right. Well recap and we'll get into it. Uh and so I, I wanna light this candle because I've had two dogs laying in my room all day today and it smells like dog in here. Uh why are you blaming the dogs? Because it there's smells like up dog. What's up dog? Jesus. I don't know. Feels like we're gooning around. Uh, I smell like I'm about cat. to move. So, I know this is having a hard time. Uh, it's having a hard time focusing, but my mug. What's having a hard time focusing? Me. Uh, but my 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 mug literally says on it, "I am the keep. Uh, I am the keeper of lore, weaver in, weaver of fates, masters of dungeons." And then on the back, it, it on the back it says, "I also like to drink my players' tears." Yeah. Oh yes. So. Oh yes, daddy. Uh, so, as we left off, uh, after all of you completed a self, it was more of a self-facing task than anything, coming, uh, getting over, uh, some self-doubts and facing, uh, trials that went after and competed with, uh, some of your deepest, darkest secrets and forcing you to uh, face them head on before you could enter into the vault. All of you completed your tasks. Uh, most of you ended up in the central chamber uh, where you did battle with fam semi-familiar creatures named mage hunters. These exoskeleton type bug creatures that have a more of a mechanical core than a biological core. Uh, after fairly easily defeating them, uh, especially with the help of, uh, with, with Alan and with, uh, I, with Ori for sure, uh, you guys made your way through that fight uh, without much issue. Some of you taking some damage, some of you not, um, but you're now sitting in the center of the center, like middle chamber of the of the vaults all you see is spider webs and rock all around uh you also um are currently down one party member as one of them being elka has yet to meet up with all of you elka you personally dealt with a trial that went past your deepest, darkest secrets. It went into the very psyche of why you are you. Uh, traveling over a bridge uh, with wind blowing in your face of nothing but uh, uh, nothing but insults coming through the wind from your brother, from your father, from your grandfather, some coming from your mother, your uncles, and then also a combined wind of positivity coming from reaffirmations of uh, coming from primarily Archer and Elkis. Uh, 
uh, coming through. Your mother constantly telling you that you are loved. Uh, and after a few stumbles across this rope bridge, you eventually made your way uh, to the other side, where another challenge immediately awaited you. Uh, that of illusion, uh, that of, of, of an illusionary type. Um, completing that illusionary task, you were, uh, you found union with a blade that, or part of a blade that completed a puzzle piece of a hilt and the tip of a blade, uh, that you had found combined with, with Alara's help, uh, at one time. And eventually that blade merged together, creating the Star Blade Calypso. Uh, you are now attuned to that weapon, uh, since attunement doesn't take long uh, in this game. And uh, that does take up an attunement slot. So make, if, you, if you're going over at this level, I think it's three. Uh, if you're going over three attuned, over three attuned uh, items, uh, you'll have to get rid of one. Um, I believe both of your swords are not attuned weapons, at least to my knowledge. Um, and I don't know what equipment you're wearing when it comes to attunement. Not many. I, you're not wearing. I don't think you're not wearing anything that requires major attunement. I think it was maybe just the necklace of finding, but even then, I don't know. The necklace of finding is an attunement uh, uh, item. Yeah. Last okay. in attunement slots. What about the necklace of spellcasting? That is also an attunement. Yes. Okay. So so, then... so the third one, yeah, uh, you could make Calypso, and then I believe the two other blades aren't attuned weapons. Yeah, no, they're not. Okay. Um. So yeah, that works out well. So you find yourself. We're gonna keep. We're gonna start with Elko just because she is by herself. Uh. You find yourself now standing with a scroll in your hand with a letter uh, with a letter from what you presume to be and what actually what you know to be uh, your uh, your ancestor a uh, that being um, Ashara burning heart uh, you would know Ashara is a um, was the patriarch of the burning heart family that was sent away by Arun to face the fracture along with uh, a majority of the mortal races on the mortal plane. Uh, you would know that he just from attuning with the blade the information that you would pick up is that uh, is that he broke the blades he broke the blade into three parts uh, hi Jackson Jesus uh <laughs> He broke the blades into three parts uh, in order to hide them from a incursion of fiends breaking through the thin veil that was left from the fracture uh, between between the hells and the mortal plane. Um, he also desperately wanted to get rid of Calypso secretly because of the utter drain on his magic that she was causing. But... Uh, with agreement by Calypso, he broke the blade into three parts uh, and hid them among the mountains. Uh, you eventually came across all three, and were and you were able to rejoin Calypso. Uh, so, congrats to you! You were the first party member to find a, and you would know this to be an echo of the fracture. Suck it. Um. If you want to know anything more about the Echoes of the Fracture, uh, you can roll a history check. And uh, because of you attuning with the blade, uh, you'd have advantage on that. Get all my dice out. Because I didn't know That's... it was going to go first. Well, yeah. You're by yourself. Everyone else is together. Okay, well... well yeah. I'm doing my nails. Okay, uh, 13 on history. 13. Um, you would know the base levels. You, you could guess. You would know that the Echoes of the Fracture are a group of weapons uh, long lost to history that were primarily used uh, in battle against the Celestials and every and 
and all of their servants that came with the fracture, you would know that a majority of these blades have a direct affinity uh, to be, uh, or have a direct affinity with radiant magic. Um, you would also know that a lot of these weapons in general uh, are now primarily just seen as a myth or even forgotten to history. But, um... I believe when we ended, uh, I had, someone had said my name and I turned around and there was a cloaked figure. There was. So as you're, uh, as you're thinking about, uh, you know, you're, you're attuning yourself, you hear a voice behind you go, Elka. Do I recognize the voice? You do. It is the voice of your teacher. The person that you care about, one of the people you care about the most, Archer. Archer. He's just I... standing there, yeah. head cocked, looking at you, very Alan like. Can I roll a perception to see if he's real? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, 24. 24. You look closely. You do see an Alan face, but it's hard to describe. He's him, but he's not him. Um, and it's very off-putting. And he's the way he's moving seems not like him. He's very... I mean, he has a few Alan twitches here and there where his head turns and, like, he, you know, he, he kind of, he, he does little twitches every once in a while. But this one is, like, swaying. He's, like, swaying. He's, like, his head's turning. He's looking. He's very inquisitive at you. Like, the way he moves almost feels like a serpent. But that's Archer. That looks like Archer. That sounds like Archer. But the mannerisms are not Archer. Correct. All right. I'm going to be very wary, but I'm going to look over and say, Archer, how did you get here? I was hoping you'd tell me. I, I've been here for a while. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, uh, Elkis was doing battle with... Torben, and then I blinked my eyes, and I was here. Uh, I don't know. We were we were in Ushar. At least one of the islands outside of Ushar. Um, and you, you, you see him kind of, like, blinking and looking. And all of a sudden, the, the, the serpent-like mannerism stop when he starts thinking. Huh. And he looks around. Where are we? Uh, we're in... What, what's this place called? The, the Vault? The Deeper Vaults, yes. The, we're in the Deeper Vaults in the Dwarf Place. That I'm really good with names. This is why I ask you to take notes, you know. Listen, I have other things. What? I started taking notes, okay? Other things what? Hmm. I'm doing my nails. Anyway. Hashtag priorities. Yes. It, he, he, his eyes are darting right now. He's kind of looking around. What? Why am I here? I'm not sure. Elka? I. Archer? His head kind of tilts. And then the serpent-like movements start to happen again. And he's getting closer to you every step. Uh, how far away is the bridge? From you? Probably yeah. 40 feet. Is it past him? No. So where you're positioned is that... Okay, so there, the bridge and the waterfall that like, goes down into the 
the ravine is behind you to your right. The chamber that you, that was an illusionary uh, uh, door that fell into a pit is to your direct left, about 10 feet away on the wall. Directly behind you is the chamber where you found the rest of Calypso. So he's in front of you on the cliff ledge near the ravine, just kind of staring at you. And the pathway for the for the cliff edge goes around a corner where the ravine is snaking through. It's like a ancient river ran through here. Okay. I'm I'm gonna try and get back to the bridge because I know that the bronze dragon is back there. Mm-hmm. And he was the one that pointed me in the direction of doing this. So maybe he can help me get out. And I don't know, like, if this is Archer, he'll follow me. And then he can probably come with me. And if it's not, maybe the dragon can help me. Okay. So your goal is to go back over the bridge. Yes. Okay. So you step towards the bridge. Yes. All right. Um, As you step towards the bridge, the wind starts to pick up again. And you hear on the wind behind you, like, she should have never been born. But she's okay. she's our daughter. I'm going to back away from the bridge again. Elka, why are you running away? And you see a little smile crack over Archer's face. Are you afraid of me? I don't think you're really Archer. What do you mean? I'm. It's me. I'm. I'm your uncle. I I trained you how to swing around that little that little and then you see him immediately focus on Calypso. That sword. Hey, can, can I see that? No. I I, I please No. Make a persuasion check. Nine. Does a 27 hit you? Yes. A faster than light, you see Archer shoot right at you in point blank range and with a dagger in his hand he digs a blade up into your gut uh and you for the first time you're now staring face to face with what looks like your uncle and as he stabs you you see his face start to melt and uh, where there was once archer's allen face you now see a bare hu pale humanoid face just staring at you and go you said just gave it to me uh all right, that fell off the table. Uh, that's uh, seven points of piercing damage. Uh, make a constitution saving throw. Plus two points of poison damage. I'm now immune to poison. You are now immune to poison. Because so you of course, Yep, so you shrug that off. Um, constitution uh, well, 15. Well, doesn't matter you're immune to poison so oh you're immune to the effects mind. of poison and disease now so yeah uh he like looks at you angst uh roll for initiative as you notice two more figures start to approach behind him one looking oddly like pavin and the other one oddly looking like elkis 22. 22? Alright. This is going to be a quick little action here. That's a terrible roll for him. That's a, another terrible roll. And then there's a natural 20. So, um... Oh, sorry. I didn't... My... It, it keeps default... It keeps going back to default. So, where's the theater? So, we're theater of minding this. Eh, actually, yeah, we could probably use a... Uh, we could use a little... We could probably reuse a map real quick. Um, or find a corner on this one. Yeah, yeah, or that, yeah. Uh, I know I have a cave somewhere that will work. Well, it's a coliseum, but it'll work. Oh, no, this is a cave. Hey, how about that? 
It's just you guys are still there. Goodbye. Um, We're all dead now. So, uh, now? you see, uh, let me go ahead and add that turn. I didn't expect this to turn into combat, but here we are. Um, what did you expect to happen? I expected you to sweet talk him out of this, but you know, get better oh at it, fighter. <laughs> Uh, as, uh, as these creatures come walking over the corner, their faces slowly start to melt. And what you see now are, uh, you've never experienced these creatures before, but you can make a arcana check if you want to figure out what they are. Eight. An eight. I don't. I don't think I get Arcana with. Not yet. No. Calypso. Yeah. Um. Yeah. No. So that is a. Uh, That's a fail. You have no idea what these are. They're just weird humanoid, pale, glowing-eyed creatures. Super. Uh. So first one, the one that looks like Pavin, and is slowly having his face melt. You see his signature move, of him spinning through the air with an arcane claw coming at you. Uh, and as he gets to you, the arcane claw apparates into actually just his, just a short sword in its hand. And he's gonna go stab you. That's, that's a natural two, so that misses. Um, sure does. and he's gonna back up. Well, he's not gonna back up. He's gonna stay where he's at. Um, all right, just... Um, and th that's the end of this one's turn. Let me go ahead and add. add turn I, I don't on. see what you have on. I'm not seeing. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We have to switch everybody. That's right. Whoopsie. There we go. So that's a 25. Let's see. 12, and that is a 11. Okay. Uh, after this this one misses, uh, it's now your turn. All right, I'm going to hit the... Whichever one looked like Archer, the one that stabbed me, I'm going to hit him first. Okay. Oops. Sorry. Yeah. Stop. Um, okay, so I rolled a twenty-eight oh. and a fifteen. Sorry, you said twenty-eight and fifteen? Yes. I believe both hit, but let me double check. Um yes, both hit. Okay. Um, what the hell? How did you get that 15. chicken bone? <laughs> Alright, so do you need any special, like, radiant and ice damage, or just all together? Uh, all together. 14 damage. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna do my extra attack. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I rolled a 2, so... 12? Misses. <laughs> Uh, and then I'm gonna go right ahead and do my second wind. Or, uh, okay. second, second windy. Wind. Uh, action search. One. Action yeah. search. Yep. <laughs> yeah. You haven't used it yet. Yeah. Okay, okay. I haven't. Uh, but I will now. Alright. Uh, well, that's a one and then a 26. Uh, obviously, natural one misses, but 26 definitely hits. Uh, nine more damage. Okay. And then one more extra. Oh, do I get another extra attack? Nope. Oh. Yep, you've already used your bonus action to do the offhand. Um, okay, uh, so that is your turn. It's now the one that stabs you's turn. He's going to take the knife and kind of like, as as he set, take, like pulls it out of your gut and you, you cut into him, you see the blade of the knife slowly start to wilt away. And he drops. He goes, ah, and he's just going to uh, grab. He's going to grab onto you and just start punching you <laughs> because he's got nothing else to do. 
Um, that's a it's a natural twenty, but your armor negates it. Um, so that's a just that's a d six plus four. So that is a uh, eight points of bludgeoning damage. And he's gonna hit you again. Uh, that is a nineteen to hit. Nope. Okay. And so that is his turn. Um, it's now the one that's farthest away's turn. The one that looks like Elkis. You're going to see him. Okay. Okay. Um, you're going to see him, like, put his hands uh, hands up as his face is melting from Elkis and go, I, I, I'm really sorry. I, I, uh, uh, this is all a big misunderstanding. And you're going to see him run over with what looks to be Elkis's staff. And then it's going to turn into just his fist pummeling into you. Um, that is a, that's a miss. It's a 16. Not going to hit you. Uh, 23 to hit. That'll hit. Alrighty. That's a nine point, nine more points of bludgeoning damage. Um, and this one's going to use less few bit of its movement to get behind you. And that is its turn. Your turn. Or no, it's, uh, this one's turn. Uh, it's one more. the short sword also starts to vanish from its hand and it's going to, that is a, it's just going to punch you as well. That is a 24 to hit that hits you. Yep. That's five points of bludgeoning damage and a, that's a, yeah, it's 11. So that's going to miss. Um, and now it's your turn. Okay, I'm gonna aim for the archer one again. Okay. Just uh, because fuck that dude. Not archer, but the dude pretending to be archer. Mm -hmm. uh, 18 and another one. 18 but, you know, hits, one misses. Seven damage. Okay. And then my extra attack. Uh, 16 plus 8. But 16 def hits, not right. Yeah, definitely gonna hit. 13. 13 damage? Okay. Yes. The, he's looking hurt, but still I'm up. I'm gonna say really quickly, you can leave now with your life, all of you. Okay. Uh, make an intimidation check. 22. This one, since it actually is its turn, it's going to look at you and go, fuck this. And it's going to start running away. You can get attack of opportunity if you want it. Nope, I'm going to let him go because I said that they would let, they would be let go. So he, he disappeared. He runs off. This one stays, however, and goes... <laughs> not happening. Uh, this one also is uh, seems to not be uh, affected by your ta by your aggression. Uh, the one that was injured rolled a natural one. Oh, well. So yeah. Um, <laughs> so it is now uh, the one behind you turn. He's, he he does get advantage because he is uh, uh, flanking you. Flanked. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that is a twenty five to hit. For the first one. Okay. And a fucking 12 to hit for the second. So at uh, six more points of bludgeoning damage. Um he is the end of his turn. Now we're gonna go to the other guy. He's gonna hit you twice. Um <laughs> that's a uh it's a twenty-six to hit. Yep. For the first one, and a 25 to hit for the second one. 
So that's uh, 10 points of bludgeoning damage and 8 points of bludgeoning damage for those. Uh, they're routinely, they're doing this now. They're circling you. Around, uh, around you. So, but that, they use up all the movement for that. I will aim for the one uh, on the south. Okay. We've got a, what is that? A 17 and a 22. Both hit. Mm -hmm. Where's my mouse? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Um... No. No. No creature with an attack that deals piercing. You can reroll one of your attack di damage die. Okay, yeah. I rolled a one on one of my attack damage die, and I don't want it. So I reroll it. I'm going to. Oh, that's much better. Okay, so we got 18 damage. Oh, nice. Okay. And then I'm going to extra attack him. All right. I will not extra attack him. Okay. One. <laughs> Jeez, you're rolling a lot of ones right now. I, I know. I think I need to get rid of these blue die. They're, yes. all the, they're the ones rolling ones. So I'm gonna, you're getting banished, so. Okay. Okay, I'm done. Oh, actually I can, uh, I'll, I'll say one more time. Still wanna play? Make another intimidation check. Uh, 21? Wait, yeah, 21. What's their wisdom modifier? Pretty high, actually. Um, okay. Uh, I'm gonna play it. So it'd be save. So, uh, okay. Uh, so this one that you card into is just like, it's just be like, just like slowly starts backing away and looking at you, but staring directly at Calypso. The one behind you does not, however, move. So this one slowly backs away and then just runs off. Attack of opportunity on that one? Nope. Okay. Uh, so it's now this guy's turn. He is no longer flanking. That's a natural 20. But again, your fucking armor. Uh, crits, are just, crits just aren't fun, aren't fun with you. Um, seven points of bludgeoning damage for the second attack. That's a, uh, that's a 23 to hit. Yeah. Uh, six points of bludgeoning damage. Uh, and it's going to say, say, I'm not afraid of you. <laughs> not yet. I'm going to whirl around and I would like to, uh, hang on. Where is my, you do oh, notice, that... you do notice Calypso is starting to glow a pale, like kind of almost like a pale greenish blue color right now as you're in battle and you do notice little trails actually make a make a perception check uh, 13 13 good enough easy enough to see you do see little bits of like red energy coming f flowing out of this uh this creature coming towards calypso uh you would probably guess that this may be maybe calypso drawing its mag their mag its magical energy out of it mm. uh so i'm gonna take my dior o dragon Dragoon, whatever. Your O Dragoon, yes. Yeah, and I'm gonna do my uh, my 15 foot radius of destructive energy, my ice energy. Oh, yeah. So he has to make a DC 15 Dex saving throw. <laughs> no, that's a fail. All right, he's gonna take uh 17 damage. 
and I believe he's also frozen in state. And he's frozen. He's immobilized. He cannot take an action, a bonus action, or a reaction. Okay. And what was the damage? Uh, 17. I had to recount it. <laughs> okay. So he is uh, frozen. That means he is... Uh, and now all attacks done against him are at advantage, and I believe he loses his... The only thing he can do is... Uh, I believe he can... Does it say on the on the description of the sword if he can make another save to try to break out of it? It says the only way for him to break out is... Um, if he takes damage or, like, any, I think, bludgeoning or fire damage. Let me open it again. I, like, just need to put this higher on my list. Um, all attacks against an affected creature is made with advantage on a successful melee attack or fire attack. It's freed from the ice. So okay. melee. So it's turn is skipped. Your yep. turn again. Still want to play? I mean, you probably can't say anything. Its so. eyes, its eyes are like attempting to dart around, but it cannot. It's like slow motion. Can he blink? Not really. You're, you froze him solid, pretty much. All right. So and I'm gonna I'm gonna say this very nicely. So here's the deal. I'm gonna hit you with a little fire spell, and you're gonna leave. Okay. Make an intimidation check with advantage. Uh. Hmm. 22. There's no movement from him. So what? Uh, so I'm just going to do a firebolt at him. Okay, uh, roll the hit, which is with advantage. Well, uh, you're up close, so you can back up and oh, then okay, get yeah. advantage I'll on him. Yeah. I'll, I'll back up. Yeah, because so it's that... a spell, yeah. So you take a step back and just kind of like baseball pitch uh... a firebolt into him. What do I add to this? Uh, it would be your spellcasting oh, modifier, so it's your intel, your intelligence plus uh, proficiency. My, is it my spell attack bonus? Is your that your, your spell doing? attack bonus, yeah. Sorry. Okay, so a nineteen. Nineteen, yeah, hits him. And then he's gonna take one d ten damage. Mhm. Mm Seven. Seven points of damage. Yep. Okay, as soon as it hits him, he does melt, and he immediately looks at at you and goes. Okay, and he's going to attempt to run across the uh, the rope bridge. I'm just uh, gonna like wave at him. As he goes to run across the rope bridge, you see him go, <laughs> like just start to dart his head around, like what? What is that? No, no! And you see his head explode. Oh, tells wisdom saving throw. <laughs> and he uh... he falls to the bridge and flops over down into the ravine. He's now dead. Okay. So, so you said that where they were where the archer was standing, there was like it curved behind the, mm -hmm. the like wall. Can mm -hmm. I go peek around that? Yeah. So all right, just so for we'll we'll free we'll free hand draw because obviously the map. So this is we'll say this is the bridge. This is the waterfall. This is the door that you found the rest of Calypso. This is the pit to your right. And then there's a road that goes around like that. That's a ledge. And all of this over here is like thousands of feet of drop. Okay. Uh, so I guess I'll follow that road. Okay. See where it takes me. So you go around this, this road. It's not even really a road. It's just kind of a pathway. And you could tell that many cave dwelling creatures have probably used this in the past for traversing through the vault through or for uh just overall traveling trying to attempt maybe some attempting to find calypso maybe some of them just getting lost uh but either way over time it has eroded into this natural like little shelf that is curving around and following uh well, you can barely clearly tell because of the waterfall, but you could tell that there is a 
subterranean river that flows at the very bottom of this ravine. And you would probably guess that uh, just over time, erosion has uh, cut away at the stone. And as you go around the corner, it keeps going for about... Well, you look and it's... it's you're not going to keep walking. You're just going to peek around. Is that the idea? Yeah, I just want to see what's there. Like, if that's where I'm supposed to keep going or if I need to go back on the bridge, which uh, I don't really want to do, but... Yeah. Um, so you peek around. It's just a... It seems endless. There's a... It is just a endless road around... Like, around, or endless path around this corner uh, that you can't really... Your dark vision won't allow you to see past that far okay so uh i'm gonna like take calypso out and like kind of hold it up in front of me because i don't know what to do when i'm talking to a sword uh -huh. <laughs> but i'm just gonna be like hey uh so i was in like this trial and like this was part of my trial am i supposed to go this way or should i go back over the bridge do you know hmm She just she's silent for a moment. I'm trying to pull up my voice preset for her and it's not working. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna we're, we're gonna use we're gonna use the anime girl voice for her. Fuck it. I see this going very poorly. Just just predicting. Yeah. Oh my god. Alright. You just share. Uh, I was kind of sleeping, you know. Sorry, I just I'm not quite sure what to do right now, and I, I don't know if you were able to help. Let me look around. If I'm going, I can't tell if I'm going. A little bit. Okay. Uh. Well, I'd say follow the path in front of you. I'm going back oh. to bed. Oh, okay. Um. Have a good sleep. She's gone. <laughs> it's weird. Uh, I, I have to like switch between. I have to. I have to like match switching between the voice and the, uh, like my actual voice. I I don't know how that's gonna turn out in the recording. This should be interesting. <laughs> Okay, well, uh, I guess I will uh, follow the path. Okay, so you can <gasps> okay, you continue on that path, <laughs> Jackson. So you woof. <laughs> Jackson's like, don't do it! It's a trap. Yeah, they're Jesus. listening to me. See Zach's notes. I know, right? <sighs> By the way, I'm really a dog. A artificer. The druid. Yes. Um, Automaton. So, continuing on this path, uh, with Calypso barely glowing and lighting away, and does it does expand your dark vision slightly? Um, you eventually find your way to a dead end uh, after about five minutes of walking, and make a perception check. Anything to re-roll perception. No. <laughs> Alright. Seven. Seven? Yeah. It just looks like a sheer drop-off. Um. You do that glow from Calypso, though. It's kind of weirdly bouncing off the stone near you, and it's like almost making your eye, your vision blurry in front of you. I will say that with a seven. Can I touch the stone? You can try. I'd like to try to touch the stone. Okay. It's stone. Feels like stone. None of the other ones are reflecting the same way? Or... 
it's reflecting in a way that is odd because it, it's almost like your vision is blurring as you look out to the ravine and as you look back towards the stone it's like reflecting color waves at you what colors all of them uh j just the the very color that uh that clips that 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 like greenish blue like light blue oh, okay yeah uh can i touch it with calypso touch the stone with calypso sure you touch the stone to you, you touch calypso to the stone and uh a wave of what looks to be illusory magic bounces off of her and you see it bounce towards where the dead end is okay so <sighs> I, I guess I'll can I like very carefully uh, put a foot off where the, the cliff drops like to see if there's really like an invisible footing okay you got to Take a step and like dangle your foot, and your foot finds purchase with a floor that's not there. Oh, okay. I will then very carefully putting my feet out in front of me to test, try to find the path. Okay. So you're gonna put your feet out in front of you. You step through, and immediately in front of you, you see a chamber. And you hear talking, and you hear what seems to be a battle revving down. And then you, when you look around, it's not coming from below or in front of you. It's coming from above you. Okay. Uh, can I sneak a little? Yeah, roll, roll stealth check. Sixteen. Sixteen. Okay. So you're sneaking. Are you? What are you trying to do? Are you trying to go towards the sound? Are you gonna? Yeah, I just want to see what's going on because, like, I'm looking for my friends, and if you know, there's there's a battle. It it, it might be them. Okay. So. So they're above you, and your best guess, with going off of uh, your passive perception, um. you get the sense that they're probably about 100 to 150 feet above you and as you look up there's a small crack in the uh um like you just barely see a little light coming from a crack about 150 feet up okay are you uh, go are you going to attempt to climb it or are you going to i guess i would probably see if there's an, like another way like stairs or a rope ladder somewhere make a perception check or an investigation check, whichever one you feel. Uh, my perception is better. Uh, this is 14. 14. Okay. Um, you can't see any meaningful way of going up other than to climb, but you do see a pattern of stair-stepping cliff ledges that go up uh, that could easily be jumped up via your money rabbit legs. Um, but there's also, you can also see, very clearly see stone and pebbles and, like, debris falling from some of those. Okay, um, I mean, I guess I'll just start climbing slowly, okay. uh, and, you know, finding where those little footholds are along the way. Okay, uh, make a dexterity check, or, uh, no, we'll go back to acrobatics. Uh, 21. 21. Yep, you start to hop up, no problem. Um, everybody else, battle has calmed down. Uh, you hear echoing through the chamber. 
the first trial has been completed. Please move on to your next trial. I'd like everyone to make a perception check. Me too? Nope, not you. That was a poor roll. Let's roll it this way. I just took a picture Terrible. of it. Yes. Beep. I love how your picture is still smelling, Nate. It's, it makes me happy. Um, okay. Uh, beep failed. So, uh, I'm aware. So, you guys, so if we've run Thaddeus, and I guess I'll also roll for. Alan, who hears you, <laughs> uh, Ornthalus definitely hears it, and Celica. Celica does not. Um, the few of you here, like two feet planting, every fifth, ten to fifteen seconds intervals, coming from, and we'll switch back. Um, uh, right here. You hear two foot or uh, two feet landing coming from this crack right here. In about ten sec, ten to fifteen second intervals, for about a minute and a half. Uh, and eventually, for you, Elka, as the light gets brighter and brighter, what does Elka say as soon as she gets to? Uh, hearing now you recognize probably the, the, they're the voices of your friends. I can still be very sneaky considering that I just went through something that uh, seemed like the people that I love were here. Uh, so I will continue to be sneaky. Okay. And... So are you going to jump up into the crack or? I'm just going to like slowly poke my head up and be like mm. like see who I can like I, I I know I can hear them I'm gonna see what they look like no Alan's no longer a, Alan's no longer a fire elemental uh Alan Alan is poking the this mage hunter with his staff and he's just staring right he's just staring right at the ravine I would have walked up um as soon as I heard this and I would also be standing next to Alan staring right at the ravine. So I'm just gonna pop my head up and, and I'm gonna see uh Alan and, and Weaver. We were just like staring at you, yeah. Oh Al hey 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 guys. Alan will wave. <laughs> <laughs> oh I'm just gonna man. I'm just gonna look at Ori and be like, I knew she wasn't dead. I'm gonna pull the cloak back and go. Yes, Ori. It looks like she's here, as part of our family as usual. I was like, oh, didn't did Nate leave? He was so mad. What? <laughs> Hello? Yeah, my mic's working. Sorry, that was weird. <laughs> oh, I got really annoyed for some reason. Oh, hey, Elka. Uh, hey, hey, guys. Um, I guess I'll crawl out of the, the ravine. Oh help you out <laughs> so uh i'll be very wary still uh I'll move over to help which i'm sure everyone will kind of notice maybe but i mean yeah uh, they can they can make insight checks because you just uh you do see elka looking a little frazzled but with a curiously shining blade in her hand well, it'd be on my back because. Oh yeah, on your back down. At this point, because I was yeah. hopping. That's true. That's true. Zach, with that insight that I rolled to GM, would I have some idea of why, by chance? You, um, well, hold on, Elka. Are you trying to hide any of your mannerisms? I mean, I would probably try. So I don't a, know how well it would be. So make a. Uh, 
make a deception or persuasion check. Uh, you choose. Don't don't tell don't tell anybody or don't tell us. Just choose one. I roll the perception just to see if I notice that she. Okay. Uh, do you want me to tell you what my number was? Yeah. I rolled a nat twenty. Then I rolled a twenty-six. Uh. Okay. I. So, so no, I can't tell. You can't tell why, or <laughs> as far as you, as far as you're concerned, maybe she just had a really rough trial and it took her a while I'm to sure. get back here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Alan looks at. Well, it's uh, glad you could join us. As you can see, as he kicks the uh, the mage hunter, uh, we had a little bit of fun here. Um, you oh. all right? Yeah, you know, just a fun little trial. Right, right. Anyways, um, well, I don't know if you heard it, which you didn't, by the way. Uh, I don't know if you heard it, but there was a weird... Anybody, anybody else hear that weird fucking this voice that well. can't... Okay. Just making sure. No, you're sure. crazy. Oh, You're great. both crazy. Love that. Yep, that's, uh, that's exactly what I wanted today. Um, uh, you're welcome. Uh, yeah. <laughs> cool. I think I heard it. As Ori's yelling from 40 feet up the cliff. <laughs> he's, got, he's got a pretty good voice on it. Yeah. While Elka did not hear it, she will not say anything. She's All right. still, uh, still a little nervous. Okay. I, uh, can I take these? Up? Can I take a piece off one of these? Or two of them? Because there's two up here. Actually, yeah. I pushed one off. Yeah, you did. I don't know where it went. It just it it fl flopped down, down next to Zane, yeah. Oh, okay. I'll take a... Uh, uh, is there anything interesting inside? It's primarily mechanical. I'd say the most interesting part about a Mage Hunter is the uh, crystalline spines on its back. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'll take two of those. Okay. One one of each. Yep. All right, so uh, you can add, add those as... Uh, those are considered... What are those considered? Because I have those, uh, had those on a table. Uh, those are considered crystals of power. So, uh, damn, that sounds kind of important. How many can I get? Uh, you can grab as many as you want. Infinite. Just gonna snap all of them off. All right. Yeah, sure. There is a. Uh, there's thirteen on each mage hunter. All right, I'll grab a. Uh... 26 because those are the two or he got okay yep that's fine they you do notice that these are these crystals don't weigh anything they're riddler light as a feather are they the size of a tooth they're about the size of a yardstick so they're about three three feet long or you will kind of put two on his belt okay and then you get what stick the rest in a bag of holding or yeah. Each one of them is yeah. the... Each one is about three feet long. Yeah. And they're sticking out like spines out of these creatures. If I were to stab something with it, how much would that be like a D4? Yeah, probably. D4, D6. I, I haven't, that'd, be, that'd be cool. I haven't thought about that, but yeah, uh, probably a D6. Since it'd be like a, it'd be like a, uh, like a short sword. Get the fucking needle gun from Halo. I actually think that's where they got the inspiration for these creatures when Strixhaven came out because Oh, like, okay, that's cool. Because the uh I mean if you if you do if you zoom in on the icon, you can see the color of the they're they're this weird like translucent purple. Oh yeah. So Do these things have teeth on them? They do. I'm going to uh like yank a teeth out tooth out using my knife. Okay. So that's what they look like. Holy shit. I didn't yeah. notice they had like a maw. Like yeah. a big... <laughs> That's, those are sick looking. Yeah, they are. Oh, there's like a million of them in the background. Uh-huh. They they remind me of xenomorphs, but they're not quite that. <laughs> they're just creations. They're golems, technically. 
They're kind of like the things from, uh, uh, what's it called? Starship Troopers? Yeah. I'm sure there is some inspiration there. I don't know. I wish I could claim they're my own creations, but they're not. <laughs> I just like Do using it. them because just they're fun. claim them. No one's going to stop you. Yeah, except that cease and desist from from, uh, from Hasbro. Except fucking, <laughs> except fucking mercenaries kicking down your door. Well, I'd rather not. Um, but okay. So yeah, after cutting them out, how many teeth do you want to grab? Actually, um, wrong character. I'm not going to grab any teeth. Okay. I'm, I meant to send that to everybody, but I'm going to use Cunning Artisan to uh, make a javelin out of them. What, out of, uh, what, out of one of the just, spears? Just, out of one of the some part of the mage hunter okay well yeah the best thing would be the the crystals of power um which mark it down that you have it i'm gonna make something because that sounds like a fun time uh oh uh, wait uh how many can you make uh just one. Oh, okay Damn. yeah it's one a day can you make me one like next tomorrow pretty sure it's one a day for, I, don't, yeah. I, don't, I want a caveman a crystal spear or it's it's one once per short rest. Oh, so, as, as a part of a short rest. Yeah, as a part of a short rest, you can make one. So we could say okay. during your short rest, you're making a javelin. Yeah, yep. uh, which a short rest, or or if you want to, uh, for the sake of just not following the rules, who gives a shit? Uh, <laughs> you could do it during a long rest while you're taking watch, as well. I have a very important question. Okay. Can you make me? Wolverine claws with these. This one does not think so. I think that's more of a Zane department thing. Yeah. <laughs> I, it's it's crazy make... you know who the the famous comic book hero is, Wolverine. Yeah, I can only make certain things out of it. A... Marvel's Wolverine's claws? I mean... Hey, hey, can you make me Wolverine claws, Zane? Out of these? Uh, I mean, probably. Or we're not perfect? really... Uh, we're not really near a forge at the moment, though. Just try to stick to them. I mean, you could do that, but I couldn't shape them into claws. Good point. Jot that down. We're just gonna write that down somewhere. Wolverine claws. Crystals. I mean, to be fair, it's not out of the realm of the ordinary. Like there is fist weapons like that. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's claw weapons and stuff, for sure. Like fist gauntlets with claws. Are these, um, what's like the, are these, uh, like solid or they, what's the durability on these? Oh, what, as in the other uh, crystals? Yeah, yeah. They're very lightweight, but they seem, they seem to be normal crystals. So, like, within, within that realm of hardness, like, if you. Like stonish or. Uh, no, okay, like, I don't know if you know this, but there is a hardness scale for crystals. Okay, you is know, it like a diamond or like a topaz, a quartz. It's like, like a quartz. It's like they're it? they're it's like quartz. Yeah. Okay, that's not very strong. It, yeah, no, you could you Ori it's and strong, but... Ori and Elka could probably, if given enough time and enough uh, effort, could probably snap these. Um, if I if I stab these through like a big door, well, how I can just swing they? at people with them. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> just get a giant wooden door and he says, yeah. makeshift, <laughs> get, makeshift no, shield. get two and like sandwich them like uh, a... Oh my God! <laughs> yeah, um, but yeah. Either way, uh, yeah, these are pretty decent size uh, crystals, and the the one thing to know is that they are quite light. Uh, and uh, don't weigh much at all. But uh, as you all are kind of regrouping, um, you recall that uh, you recall that the voice echoing through the chamber, and then up here, which I will uh, is it? What's the hot key now to to, to focus everything to one I point? I right shift. Pull shift while you ping. Okay, yeah, there. <laughs> um, but right there, all of you see a what looks to be an arcane door start to form uh, on the side of the wall. I guess it wants us to go that way. I suppose so. 
And this one agrees. Could we uh take a break before we if you, if you wanna, adventure yeah. into more danger? Yeah, by all means. If you want to take a rest, we can. I'm doing pretty all right. I mean, I could heal everybody if that's what needs to happen. But I'm doing okay. But I mean, obviously, if we're, we've been we've been going for a good portion today, so um, I don't think the a horrifying voice in the sky would mind if we sat down for like an hour. Uh, yeah, Ornthalus is already like, well, I guess that's what you, that's what we're doing. Okay, and he's uh, sitting down and like pulling out like a tea like a tea set. <laughs> So if you guys want to take a short rest, you can, for sure. Um, spend hit die, get back whatever abilities you can during a short rest. Um, anything you guys want to talk about during that short rest, feel free to chat. Um, Do I get superiority die back? Uh, so did you go through a horrible adventure, Elka? Okay, I do. That's cool. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's pretty, it's pretty awful. Hey, oh, good to know we idea. weren't alone in that one. Did you fight yourself like I did? No. I, uh... I, I had to cross a bridge uh, that uh, was screaming my, uh, my family, all the bad things that they said about me. I mean, I, they said good things too sometimes, like Archer and, and Elkis and my mom, but it was a lot of my grandfather and my father yelling about how I don't have magic and how they wanted to kill me when I was a babe. That's horrible. Yeah. My experience was as a child and how my father didn't care for me and my mother chose my father over me. Well, your dad's an asshole. You just would like go. Get, let's go get him, like right that, now. Ori, I would agree with you on. You know, you could. We could. Uh, you know, my dad could be your dad. How about that? <laughs> That's but very a, funny. But my father's a very genuine uh, man. Mine is a hypocrite. Genuinely a hypocrite. We'll uh, point him out if we see him on the street, and uh, I'll get we'll, I'll get him. Maybe one day we will have that opportunity. Is he still alive, or? Truthfully, I don't know. We'll write down and get Thaddeus's dad. That'll be like number three on the list. <laughs> okay. <laughs> would that be something I would know, Zach? You've been away from your dad for a while. You probably, I mean, you you physically have not seen your father and probably pretty fracture no no it wasn't fracture was 700 yeah. fracture was 700 plus years ago pretty fracture indeed todd doesn't want to see that dick <laughs> no the fracture yeah it's yeah fracture was no fracture was all over 800 years ago what am i talking about um it was pre the titans war that noetic right. took okay. place in which was which yeah. was yeah I'm sorry, I got confused. Um, History is hard. So it's it's been about... It's probably been about 25, 30 years since you've seen your dad. So... Damn. I mean, there, there are ways to check in on him if you wanted to do that, but... Yeah, as far as you know, I mean, he's probably still alive. You know the you know the the lifespan of elves. You knew that the, when you that his his you you would know that his age is probably sitting around that 350, 400 year old range, right now. 
from Thallus. Uh, yeah. How long were you inside that cavern, or I don't know what you would call it? Oh, you knew my, yeah, you yeah. Knew my grandfather. Um. Oh, probably. Oh, well, I was dead for probably. Oh, you know. Um. A couple hundred years, give or take. Okay. Yeah. No. So you wouldn't know if my father was still alive. I. Uh, I mean, I could. Uh, but, uh, you know, uh, I don't have any spells that could, you know, s peek in on him right now. Um, yeah, my, my assumption, curious. my, my assumption is, is that he's probably alive unless he's been slaughtered like a dog, which I, from what you've told me and from my own weird dream experience, he's kind of a dick. So maybe that's appropriate. You're about to be slaughtered like a dog when I, when I see you. Or you confuse or, me. Or it gives sometimes you a... I love you as a friend, and sometimes I just want to punch you in the face. Wait, you don't want me to kill your dad? Because no, I'll do I, it. I'll do it for, I, for I'll do it for free because I like you, Thaddeus. I I do. I was just you're like good like this, and then you turn around and want to leave Elka behind. I was just joking. Clearly, I knew she would come back. Did I just say that out loud? Oops. Elka's just gonna sit there, just still kind of like Elka's a PTSD very PTSD face. Elka's a very strong warrior. Why wouldn't she come back? Okay, let's let's just all move on. Oops. So how are things? Um Where's gonna start drinking tea? Yeah. If he has or, an extra. So Salka's actively making tea for everybody. Uh, um, this is the first time Ori's had tea, I think. No, you had tea with uh, with Alan when he invited you into his home. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. What's this tea taste like? Earl Grey. <laughs> Honestly, oh, it, it's kind of kind of earthy. Maybe oh. Oh, you do taste a little bit of honey. Elka. Yes, Thaddeus. We we do have a new member to the party. We do. Yes. Look, look on Alara's head. The name is Elvis. You see a little a, a, a little frog waving at you, and he just goes, "Hey there." Oh. You know, Elvis is some sort of elder god. We don't know where he came from. Ah, uh, I see. Uh, as, as ah, I plead the fifth. Yeah, play can I roll deception? Sure. And while he's doing that. Or as um, a persuasion. <laughs> I, I, I think it's deception because I'm clearly lying. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Thaddeus, uh, did you say your father was an elf? Yes. Pure ah. bread. This one apologizes. This one cannot help you to track him today. It's not of importance. It just crossed my mind. My experience was that of a child. And my last, when I left the other world, my father had opened the door in my face. Celica's like looking around. <laughs> I would assume that some of you have the ability to use the scry spell. That's where we're alluding to. That is correct. This one does. All right. Do you have the materials for it? Materials, yes, but this one does not have the power to cast that spell until tomorrow. Oh. Okay. Same. I guess we'll just do it tomorrow. I'll sit out of this scry spell tomorrow. The last time got a little freaky. Yeah. Scry will do that to you. <laughs> As he's continuing to brew tea. <laughs> Pour cups and like mix in a little bits of honey and um, so, 
all of you go for a short rest. Uh, is there anything else you guys want to do during the short rest? Is there a... So, uh, or Ornthalus? Uh, yeah. Is there anyone you need killed? Let's just have my list out. Uh, uh, none that I can think of, no, because I, I you have to remember, I've been in this cave for a couple centuries. I don't know who's alive and who's dead currently. But yes, to answer your question, yes, there are quite a few that I would love to just see dead. But they're maybe dead already, so... Okay, I'll, I'll just write your name down and write quite a few. Then we'll uh, we'll go off that when uh, we'll, we'll, we'll loop back around. Oh, yeah, and uh, I appreciate I appreciate it. I'll have to help you with that because uh, fuck those guys. Anyways, he sips, continues sipping his tea. Um... But, all right. Let's see. That's the kind of energy we need. Mm. Orthos is already, as, as always, ready to fucking blow something up. In fact, he needs to do arcane recovery. Now that I remember that. Well, yeah, sure. I guess he'll just go ahead and get him a little bit of a ninth level spell slot thing. So, anything else you guys want to do? Uh, I think I'm going to be good. I'm just going to pull out some cheese and eat some cheese and throw some to Alexa. Or not Alexa. <laughs> you just, you just active, you just activated every, everybody's echo in their house. Congratulations. Uh, I don't have one. It's a we, have, we have Google. Uh, but Ori's going to carve into the uh, cave floor. Ori was here. <laughs> okay. Easy enough. Because <laughs> i whoever that was. Bless you. Oh my god, he's so loud. It was, like, oh, it was, it was Tanner. Was it? Okay, yeah. I was like, okay. That's, but... that's Tanner. Yeah. It was a dad sneeze. I know, and he's not even a dad. <laughs> he never will be. He's a cat dad. We just that's good enough. Same thing last week. Yes, yeah, we probably. did. Okay. Uh, speaking of animals, that's the picture I took of Jackson. Yet, yeah. Jesus, Tanner. <laughs> what? Uh, Jack, Jack, second. My brother brought Jackson's food bowl up to him because he was being grumpy and he didn't want to walk down the stairs. So he decided to lay down in his bed and eat food while he's laying down. <laughs> Tanner said thank you. <laughs> Sneeze is loud to scare off predators. Might as well. Um, okay, so you guys, after, after continuing your long rest, um, the door is now fully apparated and is sitting there wide open waiting for you to walk through. Uh, if a door was a person, it'd be sitting there looking at its watch, stomping its foot. Um, but it is open. It's ready for you to go through. Anything, I got, anything else you guys want to do here in this chamber whether it be with the mage hunters or together before we head into the next chamber. Nope. Uh, or he's going to push the mage hunters down the ravine. Down this thing. Okay. Easy enough. They're nothing but dead hunks of metal and exoskeletons. So yeah, you're able to kick them down there pretty easily. Um, Just in case they come back to life. <laughs> well, um, so all of you make your way up to this door. Uh, after a little bit of a, I'm not going to be an asshole and make you have you do acrobatics checks to jump across the ravine. I'm just going to assume that all of you make it across with the help of your friends. Um, but you make it to right here. Uh, where an arcane door is open. You walk through and immediately you're met with a stone laid room uh, with four braziers on the side. Uh, at the at each corner of the room, you see a pedestal where it looks like a some sort of item can be placed there, which we will uh, pull this map up. 
Uh, you also see six wood and metal doors, or you see three door, three wood and metal doors on each side, equaling to six. You also see in the center of the room two archways that seem to be former arcane gates. Um, and at the very front, you do see almost like a little stage that has a uh, almost like a has a one one lit brazier with what looks to be a some sort of like telescope like object and then a statue on the right you all enter in right here you put that uh, i might need you to put my token yep. down um I'm way ahead of you i'm gonna be like way in the back <laughs> following everyone uh kind of not like from a distance but like still kind of away from the pack okay Sadius always has trouble putting his down. I'm just gonna go ahead and put things down. Oh, at the same time. Um. Um, oh yeah, I need to get Ornthalus and Celica, which they're just these tokens. Four, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, that's everybody. You walk in and there's these braziers that are on stair stepping podiums that are unlit. Uh, at each corner of the room, you see a podium where it, it seems that something should be able to fit there, but they do not. Uh, there's six doors in total, three on each side that are uh, kind of look like just regular reinforced doors. Um, as you all walk in, the doors behind you shut and you are now in this room. What do you guys want to do? Uh, I mean, that's probably not. Hey, uh, Thaddeus. Yes, yes. You want to make sure this room isn't like trapped or anything? Yeah. Um, how? I'm downstairs. How large is the room? It's a. It's a small. It's a. It's a small chamber. Uh, probably. Your best assumption is probably 20 to 30 feet wide to about maybe 100 feet long. Okay, I'm just going to uh, kind of like scan the room as we move through it for traps and move along cautiously, checking for traps as we go along. And if I find any, I will notify the group and attempt to dismantle the trap okay so i need i, I, I need, can assist thaddeus in yeah. the dismantling the trap uh so i need you to make a uh i need you to make an investigation check with advantage now i understand that you are not at your desk so i can grab your character sheet real quick and roll for you i'm walking up the stairs right now okay well then we'll wait for you And if you hear a, ah, that means I didn't make it. <laughs> I got my phone ready. 911 is on there. Uh, 911 is on speed Michigan. dial. You'll just call him. <laughs> You're needed in Michigan somewhere. Did the, uh, did, was there a register of the uh, earthquake system? <laughs> okay, the what am I rolling? Um, you are rolling an investigation check with advantage advantage because zane is helping you look my some reason my investigation isn't super high uh yeah that's two threes that sucks um i thought you were the investigation guy no he's the dismantling traps guy 
Oh, okay. No, uh, well, I my... think Weebra is the investigation perception guy. Uh, perception, not investigation. Same thing. Who's, who's good? At, who's good at investigation? Zane would probably be the best just Zane. because of Zane? intelligence. Yeah. So, uh, Zane well, should have been. I'm not seeing anything. I'll let her rip. So I get advantage since I'm helping him. Nope, because he's already, he's already he's already rolled with advantage, and you're no he he rolled for you guys, so oh, it's a okay. three. Sorry, uh, uh, okay. rules <laughs> rules of the game. Yeah. Well, it looks good to me. Lexi, she may not be at her computer right now. Um, wait, can right. get blown up here? Just let me know when to stop. Or or she is, and she's muted, and she doesn't realize. Um. But, uh, okay. Get you keep walking forward. Or we make a deck series. No, I'm kidding. Uh, it's not traps. Yeah. <laughs> As of right now, yeah. you do not find any traps. Tell me, just tell me when. This is a big ass ladder. Holy shit. Yes, it is. <laughs> Did this one light these braziers? Like my. You can certainly log. You can certainly uh tr you can certainly try if you want to. Oh that that was more directed to the whole group. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. Feel free. Go for it. It's a shame I haven't gotten to use these this deck of illusions yet. See Ori tiptoeing. Tip hooping. Tip hooping. I would like to see Ori tiptoe. By the window? He has to just take his hooves off, and his toes will show. Yeah. <laughs> Give him the human feet boot. Stop it. <laughs> hate that's it. such a funny concept. Uh, <laughs> that's just gross. Oh, my God. <laughs> um, okay, so you're trying to light these braziers. Uh, or, or, braziers. 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 Hallelujah. <laughs> Ori, next time we kill a humanoid, you know what to do. <laughs> well, we'd have to kill one big Take enough his feet. to put the feet over yeah. his own toes. I'll just stretch his feet. Uh, I don't want to get into detail. I mean, you can stretch out leather. Okay, so you're trying to light these braziers. Go ahead. No, you see. High heel lighting. No, you see. I didn't want to describe stretching out feet to the Twitch viewers. Oh, you're nicer than me. I'm I mean, I didn't describe it, but. Them. I'm just asking. I think wisdom else from it. Wisdom damage. Gotcha. Okay. No. I have no problem with it. Yeah, I don't see any issue with it. Then I will go up and go ahead and produce flame, and the nearest one, probably on the right side, because why not? Okay. You light it. It. Yep. Ignites right up. Okay. What's up in your face? Except, oh, this one's just a normal flame. Yeah. So, orange. Regular fire. Uh, with your passive perception, as you light the as you light the the brazier, you do notice a some sort of scripture start to form underneath the podium of the brazier it is in uh it is in sylvan oh i know that does someone know sylvan uh there's a an inscription here alka i guess is gonna go look at it okay So, as you walk up to it, it says, In Sylvan, uh, a man with a staff holding power in hand. That's it. Okay. I will relay that. A man with a staff holding power in hand. Sounds like a king. Perhaps there is more. And I'll just walk right across and light this I'm just, one. I'm just going to trail behind 
Weaver. <laughs> okay. Uh, you gotta light that one up, and it turns into. Oh, just so I'm making sure I'm getting my. That was correct. Uh. Okay, so this would be okay. Uh, this one lights initially a bright orange flame and eventually turns into a green flame. And underneath it, in Sylvan, Elka, you read, A deer in the forest, graceful and free. Okay. Perhaps another. Let us move on. Uh, since I have the cantrip, I'm gonna come over here to this one and light this this side up while he's doing that one. Okay. So Weaver, you go light yours up, and it ignites. I can't read Sylvan. <laughs> right. Uh, but it does ignite in, in a. Second. It does ignite in a light blue flame, and just little scripture Sylvan pops up. Uh, Elka, yours ignites in a bright. Pink flame. Ooh, pink. Uh, Elka, the one that you can read, you you hear you read, and a fairy so small, a sight to see. All right, and then I'll pop over to the other one. Uh, uh okay. And in Sylvan, it says a dragon with fire, fierce and grand. Okay, and then can I can I reread them in all in the order? Which order do you want to read them in? Oh. I, I just know the pink one's last, right? Okay, so... I guess, uh... I would say green, orange, blue, pink. Oops, yeah. I'm not muted. I would flip orange and green in that order, but if they don't make sense that way, then... We can do that, or if they don't make sense, the orange, the Hold green on. orange what are, way. What so, are base colors? So to get this, so to get this straight, you're reading it, you're reading it blue, green, orange, pink, or blue, orange, green, pink. Blue. I thought it was um. Green. Oh, orange, green. Blue, pink. Green, orange, blue, but pink. I could be. I could be wrong. Okay. So you read it. So okay. So you guys, you you guys, Elka, you read it out loud. A deer in the forest, graceful and free. Uh, a man with a staff holding power in hand. A dragon with fire, fierce and grand. And a fairy so small, a sight to see. Nothing happens. Uh, do the, it's like, as soon as you say them, I forget them. I know the dragon and the, and the fairy. A dragon with fire, fierce and grand. A deer in the forest, graceful and free. A fairy, so small, a sight to see. A man with a staff, holding power in hand. I would do dragon, man, deer, fairy. Dragon, man, deer, fairy. Okay. So, you read. Okay. Uh, okay, so you read that. Uh, what does that say, Elka? A dragon so fierce and fiery something. <laughs> a man with a staff. A deer in the woods. And then a pixie that's really small. Just like that. Nothing. Okay, we're just gonna really assume... botching it down there, huh? Yeah. <laughs> because you fail to read what it what what they say very clearly to you, uh, it fails. Listen, I'm bad at retaining what you're saying. There's Can this you... thing called paper in pen. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> I will put it. I'll put it in session notes. 
Thank so you, you want to read it. You want to read it as a drag as a dragon with fire, fierce and grand, than a man, a deer, and a fairy, right? So you want to go. So you want to go blue, orange, green, pink. Okay. Correct. I can I can write that down. Thank you. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna be sassy. I don't care. I'm doing my nails. Look at how pretty they are. Mm, yes. All right. Let me uh. Yeah, so. I know nothing can jump if it's blurry, but. There you go. It is in. Thank you. Uh huh. Do I have to say that out loud? Yes, please. Okay. Welcome to D and D. A dragon with fire, fierce and grand, a man with a staff holding power in hand, a deer in the forest, graceful and free, and a fairy's a small, a sight to see. You do it, you do, do it with less sassiness next time. No. <laughs> uh, yeah. As you say that out loud in Sylvan, I'm assuming, uh, you watch all six doors open. Hey. Okay start to raise slowly uh revealing now on the uh now on up here actually or you notice in magical writing here and here as well as on the ground underneath your feet i guess i'm using pink for it um in common it says from left to right I stand tall and firm, but I'm not a wall. Four podiums I hold in a grand hall. To open a door, you'll need to find. Four statues to place with a clever mind. Each figure unique, a piece of lore. Solve the riddle and unlock the door. In a chamber a secret, hidden from sight. Four statues await in the soft candlelight. A dragon with fire, fierce and grand. A man with a staff, holding power in hand. A deer in the forest, graceful and free, and a fairy so small, a sight to see. Together they stand, a puzzle to unfold, to reveal the, their secret, uh, wisdom to be told. Arrange them with care, their order, their order you'll see. Unlock the mystery and set your spirit free. All six doors open up and revealing themselves to you are what look to be six individual treasure rooms, all six filled with gold, jewels, bejeweled weapons, uh, miraculous armor and breastplates inlaid with all sorts of rubies, diamonds and emeralds. Uh, and all six of them seem to be vaults of some sort that have now opened. So, what do you guys want to do? Elka is going to immediately say, be careful, They're, they may not be what they seem. Indeed. So. This one has no interest in treasure. <clears throat> Only the gem we're here for. Um, observation... We're looking for statues, four of them. Let's look the room and see if there's a place where these should be. Are there stands that would hold these four statues? Um, I think that's like, up where Ori is. Inside, inside the vaults, no. But as you look around, you do notice four podiums in each corner of the room. Which I'm pinging them. Or so. So statues. I don't know if I'm metagaming. <laughs> okay. Um. Well, no. Because I see like next to this one. Mm -hmm. How do I? You hold hold, hold hold left click. Yeah. This one. It's not doing what I want. Oh, I have to have a pointer on, I think. Yeah. Uh, 
Okay, upper left. Yeah. There's next to this is a diamond shape. Mm -hmm. And the diamond shape is also at the base of the green. Yeah. And on the far left is a star, four-pointed star, which is showing at the base of the pink. Yeah. And then at the base of the blue is some swords cross, and that is kitty corner to the upper right in front of the platform. Mm -hmm. And then the star um, is on the old bottom one of the orange is up right next to the ladder. Um, so I'm going to say in character, your investigation was shit. However, after taking time and also looking over the room because you fig you just figured something out, e this is now public knowledge to the group. So you, you point that out as a fact. Well, so. I'll go ahead and strut into the nearest, um, the nearest door. Okay. So I guess it would be that one. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just going to walk in, see if I see a statue that fits any of the description of the four. Okay. Uh, make an investigation check. As you walk in, there's just piles and piles of gold coins and platinum coins. Hmm. 14. It's, it's, it, this is your, your assumption just given off of your, your passive perception this is probably easily, easily 10,000 gold coins right here. I don't care. And <laughs> you're trying to sift through and they're just all falling around you. Uh, and with your 14, you can't, you don't really find any statues. You just find coins. Okay. Uh, can I check this out? Which one? Sorry. Uh, the... So it was a telescope? Yeah, it looks it looks to be a telescope of some sort. Yeah. Uh, can I? I'll pick it up. You're gonna pick it up. Yeah. Okay. You pick it up, and the podium it's sitting on slowly starts to sink down about six inches. But you can pick it up. Uh, I will look through it. Seems like a dusty magnifying glass. Or dusty telescope. Uh, I'm gonna go to uh, this door and look in it with the telescope. Okay, you look in there. You see a bunch of gold and platinum coins. Hmm. Dragon with fire. Uh, make a. I'm gonna say, or you make an investigation check as you're holding that. Telescope. Uh, seventeen. Seventeen. Good. Um, as you're looking through it, you can't help but notice there are five buttons that are on the side of this telescope one being a like a pearl like white color one being a bright teal blue color one being a bright pink color uh one being a bright green and one being a bright orange uh i'll push the orange one in the blue room So you're pressing the, the, the orange one at the room that, that Weaver's looking in. Oh, wait. Uh, actually, I'll push the... What were the colors again? So it was a white pearl. A pearl pearlescent-like color. A teal blue. A bright pink. A bright green. And an orange. Okay. 
May I say something? I think in this vault, we would be looking for the figurine of a man with a staff holding power in hand based on the what is on the floor below it. Hmm. I'm not really paying attention. I'm still sifting through until until I either find something or somebody says something otherwise. Okay. I'll push the uh, blue one. You look inside, there's nothing. It's just clear in that room. Does anybody else want to check any other rooms while this is happening? I will help check in another room. Okay. So, uh, you p take your pick. You got five to choose from. I'll just... Number two. Number two. All right. You walk up. Make an investigation check. 22. 22. Okay. As you begin sifting through piles of gold, pile of gold, and you see chalices that are made of gold, you see breastplates that are made of platinum with, you know, rubies and emeralds in them, and then... As you go to sift through, your hand hits something. You grab onto it, and it's a statue. It's stone. But as you pick it up, you see it's the stones start to turn in like an opalescent like reflection. And as you look at it, it is a it is a statue of what looks to be a dragon with a one claw up on a piece of stone. And the opalescent is the reflection of its scales. This is a... Make a... Either history check, uh, nature check, or arcana check. Your choice, Zane. Uh, let's see what my best one, that one. Low roll that. 14. Given who you are, the DC wasn't that high, and you could probably guess... You would guess that this is a representative or representation of some sort of great prismatic dragon. Okay. Um, but its scales shine with opalescent care. The base of it, uh, the base of the statue is a bright, like, it's basically like a, like a quartz white base. Uh, but it, you've found a dragon statue. I will report back to the team with it. Okay. Vivra, your passive perception is probably the only one that's high enough other than Alan. Uh, you hear a a mechanism ig uh, initiate, or uh, turn on. Ignite. You hear a click, and then a bubbling sound. Where from? From below you in the center of the chamber. In the side chamber that I'm in, or in the main chamber? In the main chamber. Um, it's very slight, but your your ears can pick it up. Alan also yeah. starts looking around like, what the fuck? Something has happened. Uh, looking around. Um, I'm going to abandon the room I'm in and go check another one. Okay. Um... And I will tell, um, Alan, you heard that as well, correct? Yeah, that's... He'll sniff the air. This, this one... This one thinks... Perhaps this chamber... Uh, looking at the walls of the chamber, is there like a, um, like a watermark, like a high tide mark or anything like that? And this is the dark darker chamber. There's with the with the braziers being lit. There's the low light. Make a perception check. Oops. Fourteen. Oh, I rolled like ass too. Yeah, fourteen. It's hard to tell, but you look. There could be lines of watermarks from long ago that have been stained in the rock that's above that's above your head. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay, 
is there any like um no never mind because if it's an old 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 stain um then it would not that would not answer anything um I will call out um anyone who cannot or does not wish to swim move to higher ground and I'll point up by the altar you don't have to tell me twice all right yep Salika's gonna start helping look in the uh, thing mm -hmm. or in the in the rooms uh beep um, beep is also gonna let's beep is going to run up and he's going to look at you, Ori, and go and just point at the telescope and go beep. You you want it? He nods and said yes. Beep. I'll hand it to him. And he'll like look around. He'll put hold up his pointer finger and pull out a note in right. Have you tried pushing the buttons and show it to you? I pushed the blue one. He just gives you a thumbs up and uh kind of like gestures for you to you to come with him. Okay. He hands you back the telescope. Uh he runs over to this one. Uh Okay, uh, Zane, you have a statue in your hand. Weaver, you're going to go look in there. Make another investigation check. You already did. 19. You begin to sift through jewelry. You find all sorts of, like, high-class, like, diamond earrings and necklaces. And uh, eventually, you look up. And above your head, you see this tiny little pink translucent crystalline statue of what looks to be a fairy and it's floating magically in the air like a bird like a hummingbird it's just going all over the place uh can i reach it you can certainly try make a uh make an ath make an acrobatics check or an athletics check your choice oh yeah buddy it's it's too fast. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and summon my Newt and see if Newt can catch it. Okay. Same thing. Roll um, on acrobatics or athletics check. I don't have that statue up in front of me right this second. It can't be that high for your familiar, if I remember correctly. Um, uh, plus two. It looks like. Oh boy, uh, no attribute. Okay. Uh, yeah, buddy. Woo! Yeah, no, it's it's struggling. Uh, Alara would definitely not be staying down there. Alara would be right next to Elka. Um. All right. Yeah, it, it's flying around. Uh, Ori, you're with Beep, and Beep kind of like gestures at you to press one of the buttons. He just shrugs your shoulders as to which one. Uh, I'll push the pink one. Okay. You look around. Nothing, nothing that you can see other than piles of gold and other treasures. Look through the telescope. Yeah. Looking through uh, the telescope, you hit the pink. There's nothing. What the hell is this going to be? We're not talking about Celica. Celica sucks. Uh, investigation. <laughs> uh, I'm also going to yell out. Um, I have one, but this one cannot. This one has one, but this one cannot catch it. Uh, I'll be there in a minute. I'll, uh, I'll push the orange one. You look. And then something you stop. Because highlighted in a, in a outline of orange, you see what looks to be a an old human man statue buried underneath all of this golden 
all these gold coins and platinum coins. Um, you see him buried at the bottom, and he's holding. He's an old man with a beard holding a staff, and you see what looks to be a crown on his head. But you're looking. You're looking through, and it's as if the gold is translucent. All right, I'll uh, dig through and pick it up. Okay. Um, I'm gonna say make a. You can do it with advantage because Beep is gonna help you do uh, make a dexterity check. Um, while this is happening, uh, Alan is going to make a perception check. That's a natural 20. Um, Alan kind of sniffs here. I, uh, I don't think we have a lot of time as water starts to raise from the floor. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, I got a 18. 18. It takes you just. It takes you a little bit of time. You're disregarding gold, throwing it all over the place, uh, and eventually you do get to this human-like statue, and you grab it. And it's probably about about a foot foot tall. Um, Weaver, if you'd like to attempt to try to grab again, you can. Thaddeus, you're looking in that vault. Yes, sir. Okay, go ahead and make an investigation check. Hey, 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 you, out of frustration, uh, I mean, you could describe what, one way. yeah, I send Newt one way and I go the other and just full on, like, leapfrog off the top of the top pile of gold and just, gah. <laughs> excellent. Uh, Thaddeus with your nine, it's just a lot, a lot more of the same than all the others. It's just gold. It's, it's gold coins. It's, you know, gold and silver cutlery. It's you're trying to look through it and you just can't find anything. I can't see anything, but I've got a headache. Uh, I'm gonna look through a telescope and push the blue button. Nothing. Uh, I'll just go on the list. Okay. Uh, white. Nothing. Green. You look through on green and you do see an outline. And it is buried in the it's it's buried in the back left of the chamber, and it seems to be surrounded by some sort of box. But it's buried uh, it's buried underneath the gold. Okay, I'll try to dig it out. Alright, uh Either you and Thaddeus can both make dexterity checks, or you, or one of you can do with it with advantage. I think Thaddeus should do with advantage. He is dexterity. Yeah. Wait. Well, hold it's on. Uh, not Maybe. a it's not a not a save. Just regular old dex check. So roll again. It's. I'll take the twenty. Um. Twenty. Yeah. So oh, well, with advantage. Yeah. 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 Uh. So. You start, Thaddeus, you just start ripping through it, and eventually you do find a little metal box uh, that is just sitting in this left-hand corner of the uh, um, of the chamber. It has can a big old it, it has a big old padlock on the front of it. And yes, you can. It's not is that it attached to the floor. Nope, it is not, and it seems pretty unattached and not that heavy. Heavy enough, but not, nothing that you can't lift up with your average strength. We have to open the lock, but I think I have it. Okay, so go if you want to open it up, you're going to make a... Uh, well... How high is the ladder coming? It's coming up. It's now probably up to Alan's ankles. Alan's just kind of like, I, I can cast spells if I need to, but prefer if we hurry up. This one does not think it'll be necessary. Um, I'll hand my statue to Newt and have him fly it up to Elka. All right. I'm just going to head up to the, grab the thing and then head up here in this area. I'm going to take mine up there too. Okay. Same. All right. So everyone so runs up. Alan's going to stay down here and just like, you're going to see him start like drawing in the air, magical words to just, just in case, uh, you're going to start a, some, some sort of ritual that you guys probably, actually, no, most of you wouldn't have never seen before. Um, 
I'm gonna stay down with him, and I will say, um... It just, in general... This one does not like water, but this one is comfortable with it. Yeah, I don't mind water, I just don't want to drown. Um... character sheet because I know what spell he's casting I just want to make sure he has it okay um well I, I focus on finding where the statues go I feel like I well well you got most of them uh at this point it's the floor of the chamber is starting to become harder to see um so uh for the the sake of that, uh, have fun. I'm going to attempt to lockpick this. Okay. When, I, when it's my turn. Zach, I'm just going to help you out really quick. Yeah, just to scribble. Oh. I was gonna... No, the goal, the goal is to obscure your vision of what they look like. Because the water's starting to fill up and it's murky water. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Ah, but I did write this down. Did you? Oh, well, there you go. Okay, so you're gonna you're gonna attempt to lockpick the box. Um, okay, so roll a thief's tool check. Fuck. All right. Um, <laughs> Jesus <Nice>. Christ. <laughs> rogues <laughs> um yeah the 33 you have no issue fumbling with with the lock you click it open uh but unfortunately you did not check for traps that's fine uh make an intelligence saving throw uh oh because intelligence saving throw spells are usually bad in my experience you can say that, yeah. Um, okay. Well, you watch Thaddeus open up this lock. And uh, as he opens it up, a blast of weird green energy shoots out at him. Uh, he, his, his jaw drops and you see him just kind of like slump down. Um, hold on, I need to roll damage real quick. Sixteen. Uh, Thaddeus, she takes sixteen points of psychic damage, and you have been feeble-minded. Oh, oh fuck! Uh, and he is currently sitting there, catatonic, with the fucking box in his hand, with it just wide open, or not even open. It's just unlocked, and he's just starting to open. And he got hit with this blast of green noxious energy. <laughs> How many points did I take? Sixteen points of psychic damage. You're uh, currently your intelligence and your charisma scores are now down to one. You are dumb as a rock. Um, the creature can't cast spells, activate magic items, understand language, or communicate in any intelligible way. The creature can, however, identify its friends, follow them, and even protect them. Uh, at the end of every 30 days, the creature can repeat its saving throw against the spell. If it succeeds on its saving throw, the spell... 30 days? If, if it succeeds on its saving throw, the spell ends. The spell can also be ended by greater restoration, heal, or wish. It's yeah. not... Hey, Thaddeus, you okay over there? Hi! Hi! Hi, Ori! I love you! It's not even talking. It's literally brain dead. It's not even noise. It's just air, like, mouth breather. Like, uh, he's, nothing. He's fine. <laughs> like, the lights are on, but no one's home. Like, that, that's uh, what people mind is. Uh... Uh, so he's sitting there holding this box. Uh, water is now vastly like, quickly starting to go up. You see the break. It's like getting probably. Um, we'll make it a. For the sake of that, it's up to these stairs now. Your friend just got feeble-minded, and you have now have four statues. What do you guys want to do? Oh, we have all four. Of them. Yeah, now you have all four. Well, okay. we just gotta figure out where they go. And the uh, one, the, the one, the one man who wrote things down just got feeble-minded. Have fun. We can take his notes off him. 
I'm gonna run over to Thaddeus and uh, Greater Restoration, assuming I saw that that's what. Yep, you, you would have. Uh, Alan's now like way steep in water. Like, hey, I, what the fuck just happened? Uh... Focus, Alan. We just gotta figure out where these go. Uh, all right, that's fine. What was the pink one? Uh, fairy. Hey, Which hey. one do I have again? I've got the dragon. I have the old, have the old man. Right? Yeah, you have. Yeah, you have the. You have. Uh, Zane has a dragon. Ori has the man. Uh, Thaddeus has the. Uh, has the deer and. Uh, Weaver has the the fairy. I I have the fairy. Or uh, gotcha. Okay. Uh, so Thaddeus, you you snap back too as soon as Greater Restoration hits you. Uh, make sure you do mark off the uh, spell components, the yep. diamond the good. the diamond dust. Yeah. Um, which one? Which one do I have? You have the green one. You have the deer, and it is a emerald statue with golden eyes, and a and a like white crystalline base. I am going it just to looks set it like on a stack. Here, All right. I am. You're just gonna put it on the floor there. Gotcha. All right. Oh, I'll, 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 I'll pick it up. It's fine. <laughs> I got it. All Where right. am I going? Which one do you have? The have one the, you just put the, down. I have the old man, the deer. That's where it goes, right here. On the on the floor. On the pedestal, Stadius. Are you still feeble-minded? It's no. now the water's now up to uh, Alan's stomach. This is where the mark on the floor is, right? We here. don't need it on the floor, Thaddeus. We need it on the pedestals. The pedestals are not marked. Sure, these are the, these are where they go, right? What on the floor? On the on the floor? You could try. I thought we established they were um, above yeah. board. I thought we meant these. You pointing out to the there's pedestals in each corner of the room. There's a mark next to each brazier that corresponds with a color. There's four marks up near up near the stage where you are at. Oh well, fuck it. Oh, on the floor okay. then. Which one was the one for the dragon? What color was the dragon? Blue. I'm Blue. Putting... Actually, the dragon blue would be where I am standing right now. I will go to Thaddeus and drop mine on the floor. Okay, and I have the what color one? You have the green one. God damn it. Okay, green is that one. Okay. Green is over here. On the star... Next to the pedestal should be Damn it. Damn it. The orange. Orange will go to the stairs in the pedestal. Orange on that square. The, orange was the old man, if I recall correctly. Yes, orange was an old man with a staff. Alright, I'll put it down there. And then I've got the... No, where Ori is standing, yes. Where Ori is standing is where the orange one goes. Yep. And, and where I'll... Elka is standing... Pink? Yes, the pink. Okay, Anything so... Happen. The water's just casually rising up as you put them down. the pedestals then all right okay take it as it is on the floor here Thaddeus yours goes on the closest one as well as Elka's on the I'm corresponding sides I'm gonna grab the one that um Zane is by um okay Newt take the other mm. it's going to all right he'll grab it yep I have him grab it uh have him fly over to uh the lower left I will Swim, wade, uh, Dive. my way through to this one. Okay. It's now the water is pretty much up to like it's above Alan's head now, and he's like floating, and he's like 
He's like, just tell me if you need me to cast a spell. I'm holding it until the very last second. It's like right here at the base of the brazier. So it's it's pretty much you have to like float up and put it up. Uh, so you put the uh, you do me a favor and roll a uh, a dexterity. I'd like to also call out those two. Uh, okay. Features. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, make a dexterity check for Newt. Uh, or acro if acrobatics if for some reason they're proficient in that actually no i'll just roll it for me because it's the same okay hey look at that um yeah he's able to fly over just fine without touching the water he places the uh which statue are you placing here just confirmation uh the man one i believe is was here originally right yeah so the man yeah. one okay yeah. And and then you're pl and then you're placing the, uh, the dragon. The dragon. Yep, that's right. Okay. Uh, and then you two are placing. Okay. Uh, as you go to place those down, you see them settle in, and the bottoms of these pedestals sink down, almost as if these are keys of some sort. They sink down and start to twist, and as they twist into the podium the water starts to slowly stop. And it's at the point where Alan's like about to let off the spell he's about to let off. And he goes, Oh, thank God. And he drops it. And the water just starts to drain. You hear a, a rushing water, uh, draining sound. And it starts to just slowly drain out. And as the water drains, the the top pedestal here um, flips up and then opens up wide. And there is nothing but a bright light coming from this now doorway at the top of this pedestal. Which pedestal? The the main one where the bra where the brazier is. Okay. The brazier okay. lifts up and then the door and the door opens from underneath and it is a white light, bright white light as the water is sinking down. Do we have time to go through these rooms and grab some shit? Uh, no, no, because it's not recommended. <laughs> no, because as, as the door, you beat me to it. But as the door, uh, as this like main door opens, you see the six vaults start to slowly lo lower down. Should have grabbed it while you were looking. And be cursed forever. I was going to say, right? I was under the assumption that it was trapped. Damn. <laughs> so close to retirement. Shit. <laughs> Dude, my character doesn't really care about money, so. <laughs> Madam Zeroni's just sitting in the background cursing everybody. We could have retired, man. Yeah, but I was stupid for a while. Uh, so this uh something changed oh my god so this door opens uh alan immediately like waits god damn it i don't want to do that shit again and he's like the first, he just fucking walks through he's like just walks he just full-blown ready to go he's like he's like the uh I, I i always attribute alan to either like the really high version of your guy like the really high Gandalf uh, or, or just the dad that's tired of being with his kids um, oh, but, but he, 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 he can't but he walks through um, do you guys follow yep yeah all right no, no? all right I'm just kidding I'm just kidding go to your room Ori <laughs> I'm going out I'm going to pull my cloak over my head as we walk through. Okay. Good to know. So you walk through and you find yourself in a in a cave-like chamber. Uh, a single fire pit is lit in the center and setting off to the left is a is a gold is a what looks to be a pile of gold and a chest uh, filled with gold all sorts of gold trinkets and everything. That you could imagine. Uh, and we can switch to that. Uh, there may be tokens on here that are unintentional. There are. Hey. Go away. I was. I know this map. D20 
Do you know this map? Isn't isn't this the map that like nope. the last bit of the last game? Nope. No. Oh. Never mind. So sitting in the sitting in the center is a single fire pit and a bunch of human bones around the center, as well as as well as a chest off to the left. Uh, open uh, with gold coming out of all sorts of gold trinkets and coins coming out of it. And to the right is a chest that is completely closed and locked. And we will and I, we will switch um, and then we will bring in not really my favorite. We're gonna go. No, wrong, bad. There we go. All right. Um, okay, so you walk in here, and it's an empty room. <laughs> Just but with these few things that you can see. Um, I will grab... Skeletons on the floor? Or no? Yes, they are. And what about those magic mushrooms? Those are toadstool mushrooms. So... Those are no longer on the floor because I have eaten them. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> we were just like bloodhounds his way so, over to the toadstool he's mushrooms. so hungry. It's been days. <laughs> we haven't been feeding him. <laughs> And we have another one that doesn't know what's going on. Normally, the carnivore decided to go for mushroom. A mushroom that gives you feeble minded sounds really funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's only it's only feeble mind for like a day. <laughs> Just affects your headspace. Next. <laughs> Jesus. And yeah, we're missing beep. All right, I think that's everybody. Yes, it is. Okay. So uh, you walk in, and you just find this empty room. You see, very clearly see these chests off to the left with gold coming out of them. Uh, and you do see this, what looks to be an old camp. Is the fire still lit? Yeah. It's probably good. It's kind of scary. Sure. Yeah. I'm I feel like... I feel like I've been here before. Have you? Hey, Have gold. I? <laughs> I'm gonna are take you a closer I... look at the fire? Okay. Or Back, is... are you reusing a map or? No, this is it... brand. I made this like two weeks ago, three weeks ago. Where to God I've been in this room before? Thaddeus just loves caves. What can he say? Well, there's a reason why the game is called Dungeons and Dragons and not... This open is not the type of dungeon Thaddeus likes to be in. Open fields and dungeons. Open who's fields a, and dragons. Who's a cave? I mean, well, I mean boys... honestly, open fields and dragons is probably just as dangerous as Dungeons and Dragons. True. I feel like if you're in an open field lost. with a dragon, you're just fucked. Yeah. San Francisco won. Oh. Sad. Yo. No man, I feel script writers. God damn them. Anyways, don't want to get the NFL don't get me on started. my book. Yeah, I'll just keep my mouth shut because I don't want to get you any more ticks. <laughs> you know. The fucking NHL <laughs> contacting. But anyways. So from the NFL is watching <laughs> watching the stream. Ima imagine they're watching this D and D stream, yeah. Like, hey. They're like, hey, that's ours. <laughs> hey. Don't say that. Don't that don't that guy used us our name. Oh my god. Anyways, so you guys are checking out the fire. You're walking over to the gold coins, Ori. Okay, or okay. you're stepping up to the gold coins. I'm gonna look at him from where you're I'm at right now. Over with Ori and say, Ori, we should probably check the traps. Well, it's a little Ori late for that. 
Um, or, or it'll tap the ground. Uh, it's yeah. Or, or as you step past these two, uh, these two, basically in between these two rocks, uh, you step forward and you neglected to see the trip wire that is uh, currently sat right there. I need you to make a uh, a strength saving throw as two massive logs come flying down from the ceiling at you at full force. Full, I'm using your one. I'm using one of your traps against you, Nate. Um, <laughs> it's fucking dumb. <laughs> uh, so make a strength saving throw. It's okay. I'm good at these. Not twenty, baby. Not twenty. Easy. Huh? Cool. Thirty-one. That just uh, does half damage, then. Congrats. I catch them with each of my hands, like a cool guy. Uh, yeah, you still take the damage. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I just put flavor. It's just yeah, flavor yeah, yeah, just... Boom. Like, <laughs> uh, strong man doing the log thing. Half a 30, so that's a 15... Take 15 points of bludgeoning damage. All right, that ain't too bad. We're coming back from that. Yeah, I haven't healed in a while. <laughs> I'm like... <laughs> Still pretty beaten up. Just fucking limping or limping along. Yeah. Never Oka, pick up the pace. <laughs> I'm like less than half. Oh my god. <laughs> I forgot. I was like, oh yeah, we're doing a short rest. That's fine. Yeah, you have to roll your hit die during a short rest. I did, I did not. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's just I'm, unfortunate. I'll go ahead and drop now that I notice that uh, she is quite wounded. Mm -hmm. uh, I will go ahead and drop a fourth level cure wounds. Fourth oh, level cure guys. wounds. Thanks. Oh, do do I know who who uh, got me out of feeble mindedness? Uh, you woke up to Vuivra with a hand on your shoulder. I will take the time and say I don't know what stupidity I did, but thank you. There was no stupidity. Just a trap. Okay. I should have known better, but I was in a hurry. We all were. There is no problems. So, Ori, you go. Are you? What are you doing with these gold coins now? You've caught, and your fists are feeling kind of sprained. Trying to catch two massive worry, tree trunks coming looked, in. I looked. I looked really cool doing it. That's all that matters. Uh, I'll pick up a gold coin. It's a older minted gold coin. You don't recognize the face on it, uh, but it's it weighs about, feels the same weight as a normal gold coin. Alright, how much is here? Uh, so, just gauging it from what you can see, probably about 5,000 gold coins. Just hanging around, like laying around and inside the chest. There's also right. a uh, a bejeweled necklace, a bejeweled chalice, and a that is a another like a goblet, like gold goblet. All right, I'll pick up all the gold. Okay, all of you watch Ori start just taking fistfuls of gold and throwing it in his bag of holding. I need to reimburse myself. I only had sixty-eight gold. Oh Jesus! Okay. Uh, actual number. So, you get. It's, I said about five thousand. It's not quite five thousand. Okay, uh, you get a uh, four. Uh, the amount of gold you found there was four thousand nine hundred and twenty-three gold pieces. Ori, I hope you're counting that so you know that we split it One, amongst the party. Two, three, four. Five, <laughs> six. Do we have anybody seven, that can recognize magical items? Eight, Might want to come over this way. Nine. Before Ori gets ten, greedy. Eleven. Oh, I'm sorry. How much gold do you guys have? More than you. I'll, I'll be real here. I'm broke. <laughs> and so, so am I, someone else. Ori. If someone wants some in the future that they really want, I will. I will lend you some gold. Land. Welcome uh, to the bank it, of the Rona. With interest. Yeah, yeah. All right, fancy pants. All right, uh, excluding Zane. 
uh, divided by six, uh, 820 gold is with three gold left over. So technically it'd be 820 gold and five silver per person. I'll, I'll, let, between I'll the let six. Ori have the three extra gold for counting. Yeah, Ori can have that. Thanks, buddy. Alan just kind of looks at Ori, you know, it's probably not good to be uh, greedy, especially in this type of situation. I'd like to retire at 40. How old are you? 20. But you got 20 years to make other money. If we I, find can make this... other, I can make other money now. If we find this damn gym, you can retire. And oh, Ori, good, you need to be alive point. to enjoy it. I can literally never die. <laughs> what? I'm too important to this story. <sighs> okay. Anyway, so there's one more chest that's completely locked. Um, I'm going to go up and inspect oh, the trap as I'm walking up, checking for traps. I make an investigation check. As you get closer, there is a uh, there's a weird like golden plated gold plated mask right there. Um, but eleven investigation doesn't look trapped. Looks like Ori's the Ori Ori sprung one of the traps. Zane. Yes. Can you take a better look at this area? I'm I good mean... at opening things, but dumb at looking for traps. I suppose I could. What am I dividing this gold by? <laughs> uh, does Zane think he needs more gold? No. Okay. It's divided by six. So 493 divided by six. Uh, it's 820 gold for everybody. Uh, and then you get the extra three. You get the extra three. Because you you caught the logs and you counted it. Don't worry, there's pl plenty more gold where that came from. Hey, you guys could have been fucking rich if you would have grabbed some of that gold that was in those other chambers. I was paranoid. It was like a life, life. That was a few life, that was generations worth of gold. You yeah. think I was going to touch that fucking gold? Not after that pit. Maybe that's <laughs> Sorry, it was a uh, eight hundred twenty. Sorry. Uh, twenty. Seven eighty. All right. Uh, so Zane, you're gonna go check out the area more, or? Yeah, I'm gonna help Thaddeus. All right, make an investigation check. Twenty-two. Uh, nothing else in the area is trapped, but that chest very well may be trapped. You can sense a bit of magic coming off of it. You, it's hard to tell what type of magic. Can I do? I have the skill to remove traps. Yeah, you have the you you have the skill to disable traps, removing traps specifically that of arcane nature um the answer is probably no but you do have friends that could you know that do, may have spells that can disable those types of things oh and i actually have it prepared i thought i was muted never mind you heard nothing <laughs> did you say you had something prepared <laughs> dinner that's what he had prepared Yes, this one has been cooking over this random campfire that has been lit. It's dangerous. Does anybody have the ability to disable magic tra type traps? Well, if we throw it, it gets magic. Well, if we throw the box really hard at a wall and it'll open, then whatever trap is in there will just go off far away. Or it will kill us all. 
I mean, if we throw it, like, really far, like, over here. A point over here. <laughs> well, yes, but there's mushrooms over there that might get destroyed. I will walk my happy ass over there, and I will cast Dispel Magic at 4th level. Cool. Roll d20 and add your, add your uh, spellcasting modifier. Some bitch. Oh, fuck. <laughs> you know very quickly that that failed. Wow. Mm. Like a nuclear bomb in there. Is it? So that means it's higher than the fourth level spell, mm -hmm. right? Yes, sir. <laughs> uh... Hey, uh, hey, Alan. Yeah. Could you help? Dallas. He should be able to do this. Oh, yeah, we had another guy here who does magic. Oh, oh I, I don't have that spell prepared, sorry. What, what are you even here for, then? I'm sorry, that was rude. Now that's uh, just I suppose. Knock. I'll go ahead and drop another fourth, give it another try. All right, roll a d roll d20, Andrew. What's the modifier? Let's go, baby. Jeez. Nothing. That was a lot better, comparably. <laughs> that, that was double. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you you doubled your uh, your result. One hundred percent increase. Honestly, pretty solid. Uh, it does <laughs> Ori's idea might not be a bad one? <laughs> yeah. See, Alan have that prepared. He does have it prepared. <laughs> oh, thank God. Alan's gonna walk him. All right, all right. Let me see what I got. He's going to cast it at... Uh, he'll try 5th level. He still has to roll. I'm going to guess a 1. No, it's a 4 uh, plus 6. Okay. So, you know, it's 10. Uh, I, don't, I don't think I... <laughs> I'm throwing this really hard against the wall. Uh, I feel like my plan is the best one. Let me give it one more try. He's gonna cast it. Has no complaints. He's gonna cast it at third level just to try. I don't. If it is the or I if you throw it against the wall, we might damage what's inside. If this is the Cordiorum, probably not a good idea. Oh yeah, but they were fucked. Like this whole journey was for nothing. And then we have to go into hiding. <laughs> I'd be way too embarrassed to go back to those people. Uh, Are you hiding? Alan just rolled an 18, which just barely beats it. <laughs> so much effort to get this box open. Okay, it's going to be like, going... there is one gold coin inside. <laughs> this can be like, it's a, it's a short throw plus one. It is a box of air. He will look at all of you. It is done. Can I open it, or do I need to uh, unlock it? That is... Uh, he, uh, he'll, like, rattle the lock. It's locked as fuck, all right. I'm going to stand back here, just in case, you know, all shit right. goes down. Everybody move back. Have your... Can go back to staring at the fire? I'll Have your spells my ready to resurrect me. <laughs> Uh, by it's crazy how accurate this is because 22 is the DC for to unlock it. Uh, so yeah, you go to unlock it, twist it open, pop it open. This chest is filled to the brim with what look to be. Masks? They're ornate masks of all different types. Um, all of them having different expressions. Some looking afraid, some of them looking excited, some looking happy, some looking sad. Okay, I've played enough Lethal Company to know not to put the masks on. Is there any that, is there any that yeah, would fit on a Minotaur's head? Uh, you make an investigation check. 
multiple hours of Baldur's Gate told me this is a bad idea. It'd be really funny yeah, if there's just like a Minotaur mask in there. Wasn't there One. a mask in the other yeah, room? Yeah, there's not. No, there's a mask literally sitting on the ground that has devil horns. Oh, it's perfect for me. I make a... Uh... It, actually, I'll just ask someone to help. Can you, someone want to check this creepy mask out? Point to the one with devil horns. Alan's just shaking his head no. Yeah, Oops. Elka's just going to keep sitting by the fire. Just so got to look at it. No. That one, that one hits a little too close to home, Maury. I fire, I I fire look at it. Can I make it like an archon check? Mm -hmm. Yep. Alright, that's not terrible. What's my arcana? That's uh, 18. 18. It's definitely magical. Do I dare put it on? Do you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this kind of fits my style. What do you guys think? No. Please don't. We'll stand over in this area over here, away from us, so we can all kill you if you change. Oh, I, I uh, Orthos looks up. Uh, he too is at the fire. I just haven't moved him over there. Oh yeah, I, I can, I can do that. I can identify it. Oh, that'd be, that'd be wonderful. Sure. Sorry, I'm eating a milk shake. Um, milkshake. You're eating a milkshake. It's Does very. It all the boys to the yard. It's very, it's very, fr right. it's very frozen. I bought it for lunch and threw it in my freezer because I was. I oh, feel like, okay. yeah. It's basically just ice cream at this point. Um. He's gonna look at it. Oh, that's creepy. Okay. And he will uh, cast identify on it. Oh. Yeah, um, uh, yeah, this will be fine. And he'll hand it back to you, Ori. Uh, what, what is it? It's a mask that has, um, a spell on it. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's magical. That's for sure. What is it? I'm what gonna. We know? I'm gonna be honest. I didn't prepare this spell. What do we know of the cordial of cordiorum? You know. Uh, my, my Discord messed up really bad. What did he say? Uh, he said, "I'm going to be honest. I never actually prepared that spell. I can take ten minutes to actually identify it, but that's you know, long time. Fine, fuck it. I'll do it." And he will... It's, it's fucking ten minutes, you're... <laughs> so he's gonna start ritually casting Identify on it. Uh... So what you know about the Corday Arm? You know that it is... Uh, you know that it is a gem that can... He is said to be able to heal any illness, injury, or... Uh, abnormality within the body you would also know that this gem does have special capabilities to be used as a catalyst to bring someone back to life okay, you've so heard it's a, it's a gem we're looking for not it is a it is described not a mask. Uh, no it is described as a heart shaped opalescent gem uh, that uh, that was that was made uh, in 3 PF, being post-fracture, um, you would know that the gem was made in efforts uh, with the remainder of the gods that decided to uh, to actually, you know, team up with the mortals during the fracture. Uh, you would know that... Um, what else would you know? You would know that Six were made. Uh, six were made. Five of them were given to the Dwarven Lords, and one of them was kept in secret by the man who made them. Ontalus. Shh. 
I'm identifying shit. Sorry. Yeah, what, what, do you, what do you want? I could probably answer the question, Salika says. You are one that got the closest to these, is my understanding. Are we near the chamber where the Cordiorum is held? Uh, I think you're mistaken. We got maybe into the first chamber. Uh, the first time we came here and, uh, then we both passed out and we ended up on the outside. So I have no idea. I'm gonna, are there more masks? Yeah, is, is, there, there, is, is there a mask that looks like me? Make an investigation check. There's a there is a chest full of masks. Can we can we move the chest closer to the fire? Yeah, it's gonna oh. it's, it's heavy, but you know, take Ori to do it, but. Or you will do it while he's uh, identifying it. Okay. I'm going to uh, do an investigation check, which I have none, just to see if there's a mask. That uh, what I'm looking for is a correlation between one mask for each one of us. Oh, gotcha. Um. That if we all put them on, we might see a door. Yeah, uh, with that nine, it's hard. it is a pile full of masks you're sifting through. It's going to take you some time to go through all of them. Well, time is to our advantage at this point. Mm-hmm. You would say that. Well, while all that's going on... I'm going to share my thought processes with the group. Okay. Um, while that's all going on, um, can I tell if this fire is natural or arcane or what? Hmm. You can choose to make a nature check or an arc arcana check. Your choice. It's certainly not natural. Probably arc arcane in nature. Is there heat coming off the fire? Mm-hmm. I'm just going to make that passing comment to the three other people by the fire. Four other people. I don't know who else is by the fire. I'd say Beep is probably up there and Alara is probably up there. I'd say everyone's probably up there around the fire at this point. Just kind of like sifting through the human bones. There's I'm not that sitting, many. I'm sitting right on top of that rib cage unless it crumbles underneath me. It doesn't actually. It's pretty strong. I, I, I give zero fucks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a good seat. <laughs> kind of hard, but you know it works. Eh. Kind of springy. Um. Alan kind of looks at it. Yeah, you're probably right. When's the last time we were out a bonfire? Been a minute. It's been a while. Do you? Does anybody else check this room for exit? So. Oh, that's probably a good idea. Right. This one we'll have a look. We're probably trapped forever. I've already given up hope. Well, if it's anything like the other stuff we've been dealing with, probably has to do the freaking masks. Orinthalus looks up. Uh, uh, Ori. Yeah. Actually, you, and he'll point right at you, Zane. Here. It's fine. It's not cursed or anything. It's magical, but fine. Which one? He'll hand you the one that looks like a devil mask. Oh, fuck it. I'm, I'm going to put it on. Uh, you all watch Zane fall unconscious. Oh, fuck. For like 10 seconds. He's just out cold. 
And then he leans up. Saying you're fine. You're looking around like the fuck just happened. <laughs> that was weird. Got a cool mask. Look on you. So I suppose I should explain. <laughs> um, I was about to say, did you know that would happen? I did not know that would happen, but I did know that there was an attunement process. Um, so, uh, yeah, no, w w what that is, is that is a key of some sort, uh, some sort of port or arcane key. Um, you put that on and you should be able to see the way out. I will take a look around for that. Okay, make a, uh, your past perception is easy enough. You look around and you can now clearly see a, uh, you see a, a little hallway path going off here. Um, but you like, you saw that before, just taking a look around. And you like cut a spot and you do see a door right here. I will lead everybody to the door. Okay. Do we need, are there more masks? There's hundred, there's, there's 50 to a hundred masks inside this chest. That you guys unlocked. Does Orthalus, does it appear that we should each have a mask? I don't fucking know. I just, I only identified that one. Yeah, a hundred more. Here you go. Holy well, shit. How about we try this? No more masks. I can see the door. Let's have somebody masks. who can't see the door try to go through the door. I'll, I'll try to go through the door. Okay. Check it for traps. What's a magical the, door? Where is Craig go through? Uh, where is it? Up in that corner that's above me. Right here. Uh, or he's going to go to it. Okay. And you're going to attempt to walk through it. Yep. Okay. Uh, as you go to walk through it, make a... Um, I believe it is a no there's no check at all um you feel yourself get blasted backwards as you try to walk through it you, you, you your face goes forward and you just get blown backwards you do take uh 10 points of bludgeoning damage as you're blown back by what seems to be a wall of force oh it must have something to do with the other masks then as well. Oh, gee. I was really? thinking, I was thinking, if this will fill my face. Zane, why don't you try to step through? Okay, I'll give it a shot. Okay. I will try to step through where Ori just got blapped. <laughs> okay. You go to walk through, and you are allowed passage. Do I have to go all the way through? Or do I not have a choice? You stick your... You're just trying to stick your head through, right? Like a... Yeah, an arm... Like a piece of my body, just to see if it repels it's, me. It's like air, as soon as you touch it. Okay. I just wanted to make sure it wasn't, like, sucking me into it, you know? So I could be like, oh, hey, yeah. Masks. <laughs> yeah, no, you're not being sucked into it. However, it is... Uh, a weird energy feeling as you as you put your arm through it. Not all at once, though. If we don't want to all be catatonic, just in case. What if we held hands? It's a good point. That'd be the funniest I... TPK ever. <laughs> <laughs> Holding hands as you try to go through a trap. If we're going out, we're going out together. <laughs> How about we take a rest? And we go through the masks and see if each one of us can find a mask that works for us. And then each of us can pass the door with their own mask. All right. I could use a break. Plus, I'm pretty sure it's been like 11 hours since we've been, been awake, so... No spell that's a, could use the break. That's a, that's a nice scarf you got going on there, Brett. 
<laughs> it, it's it's trying to escape. <laughs> you could have just gotten a cat. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. But Australians are are they're basically the Australian shepherds are just basically cats, but they're dogs. We honestly think he's a goat. Yeah. Not as comfortable. <laughs> yeah, he just settled in. He's just chilling. I just I saw this that little the... yawn. <laughs> He's like, "This is fine." Oh my god. Oh no. Is he is he heavy? He's about forty pounds. That's not bad for his size. No, don't jump. Oh, I mean, if he's like, I mean, that angle is tough, but. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <That's like a laughs> <sit. laughs> Poop, doggy, poop. <laughs> he just falls asleep. Is that what it's like when a lair comes on your head? Now he's getting the little claws out. It's funny he said goats, because goats will actually just do that kind of stuff. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> he's, he's so like, happy up I there. Be I believe I'm stuck, father. I believe I'm stuck. <laughs> <laughs> now I have risen above you. Oh, okay. oh there goes the headphones. You're fine. You're fine. <sighs> All right. <laughs> Back to D and D. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um. All right. So you guys, are you guys taking a long rest here? I mean, if it's been that long since we started, yeah, it probably be a good idea. Well, you have to think about um, it from the perspective of you guys woke up. This is the same day you guys snuck through, like, the town or the city that was infested with devils or demons. God, yeah, we should probably long Yeah, it's been a long fucking day. Yeah. So, all right, so if you guys would like to take a long rest, that's perfectly fine. Um, Alan will start setting up uh, tents as well as, uh, well, helping set up tents. And, uh, you know, Beep will begin, you know, tuning up his... Uh, Tiny hut. Yeah. Uh, he'll, yeah, exactly. He'll actually, he'll pull out his kazoo and he'll just kind of like start the process of, of casting Liam in his tiny hut. Um, and just kind of like point to anybody that's with, that wants to come inside of it, uh, and spend the night. Uh, but yeah, so you guys go for a long rest. Uh, I assume maybe sifting through masks during a watch, maybe, for the sake of just a means to an end, or do you all just want to pass out? Uh, I mean, I'll sift through them well. Okay. Well, I think we should have a watch, because we yeah. are in a... Uncharted cavern. territory. Mm -hmm. We are in a dungeon. With, with, like that has dragons, yes. There's a, oh, there's a fucking dragon here. It's in the title. There's a dragon here somewhere. Hmm? Uh, I'll take first watch. Okay. So. I'll sift food mass. Luckily, you are in a single room, so keeping an eye out really isn't that big of a deal. Your passive perception will, uh, will work just fine. So, for the sake of sifting through the mask, go ahead and make an investigation check. Uh, dirty twenty. Yeah. Um. So you, uh, you sift through, and it takes you a majority of your three hour, three to four hour watch, but you do manage to find a mask that looks oddly minotaur like. Uh, two masks that look elvish in nature. Uh, one that's definitely a dwarf. Uh, and that's really all you can find as you wake up whoever is going to be going next I'll go next okay so you wake up uh, make an investigation check that one mm, unfortunately even spending a majority of your of your time it's just nothing's you have the, the group of masks set off to the side. The devil one, the two elves, the dwarf, and the minotaur. But you're still missing, you know, 
You're still missing a a furbolg like mask, a goblin mask, a lizard folk, a rabbit, heron gun, and a uh, tabaxi like mask. So unfortunately, you can't really find any that matches that description. But who's taking third watch? The normal? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, so both of you can make separate investigation checks, or one of you can roll investigation with advantage. I got this. Cough, cough, yeah. <laughs> investigation. 24. Yeah. After some time, after after looking, re-looking through the mess that Elka look through and she did start sorting ones that look similar i'd say you know like the nat one sucks but like she's not that you know that dumb she trying was to beat not pretty bad she was beaten up pretty bad that is for sure um but uh you are able to f eventually find the five other masks uh one that looks like a fur bulb one that looks like a goblin one that looks like a lizard folk, a tabaxi, and a herringon. You set them. Mask? Is there a tiny frog mask? <laughs> In fact, there is not. There needs to be two tiny frog masks. Familiars are a part of a person. I'm not. Fine. You guys are ridiculous. I love you. Oh. Um, <laughs> Well, who's familiar as Elvis? He's not. He he's just kind of hanging out a, with Alara. He is a, a separate entity. Yeah, he can he can walk through a wall of force. He's fine, probably. Um, but yeah, all frog legs. <laughs> but yeah, so you you find the you find the five the other five masks. You set them to the side. You gotta wake up the next morning. Uh, to fully rested. Everyone took a long rest, so mark that down on your character sheet. Um, which I need to do for Alan. And for... Um, uh, but yeah, so you wake up, you all find a mask greeting you with what matches your your species and or race you put on those masks and are you guys ready to go through this door yeah okay. yeah as you walk through you hear a voice echo through the chamber stating trial to complete final trial ahead Uh, as you go to step through, you walk through a, it has, is a single file corridor, uh, that, or you actually have a hard time fitting through. It's, it's pretty, Alan and Ori have a pretty hard time getting their way through, uh, this area. Sometimes some places you have to duck, uh, some places you have to, like, you catch your horns, uh, on the ceiling. Uh, um, two big boys yeah. struggling. Yeah. Uh, but eventually you make your way through into a open, almost like it, it looks like a coliseum type room, except you're on the very top, top level of uh, looking down as an audience member. In the center of this coliseum is an island surrounded by water. On this island, there is a single tiny chest. About the size, about the size of you would you would assume probably about the size of your average size cannonball, not that big, not that small. It's pretty tiny, um, but it is a wooden chest with with gold trimming, uh, and is sitting on a pedestal on the middle of this island, with multiple chains coming down from the ceiling that are attached to this pedestal. Uh, you look around, and you don't hear anything. You don't see anything. If we ever make a perception check, this will be the last roll of the night. Eleven. Aww. 
Nat two. Night's it's not the safe. night. Vivra, you look down into the pool, not trusting of any any sort of body of water. Uh, you kind of squint your eyes. You think you see something moving down there, but it's hard to tell. Mm. But you look around and you're really focused on the water and what you don't see is a humanoid like fish creature is now suddenly standing behind um roll, roll, roll a d10 because there's 10 of you standing behind Elka with a trident about to stab down into her. You flip your head around and he's just there. That's rolling tonight's session. Yeehaw. Have I not fucking, had enough trauma? The fucking Aquaman, dude. <laughs> yep. <laughs> fucking banana bread, dude. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh. The meme is old, but I but I I approve. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but all right. Well, thank you for playing. Uh, we're getting yeah. next session should uh, should wrap up. Uh, hopefully, wrap this up. I don't know. Depends on the rules. But uh, congratulations, you guys are now level eleven. Okay. Oh, Foggy. So I'll have to see what I get. I don't even remember what I get. So, level yourself selves up if you want to roll for uh, HP real quick. Ooh. Remember, you can re-roll that ones. <gasps> oh. I get another extra attack. <gasps> Me too. Then oh, let's man. go, baby. I regret. I immediately regret my decisions. <laughs> what is the uh, roll for up? Is it ten? It's D eight. For rogue, for for or for rogues, it's D eight. Finally hit triple digits in HP. Let's go. <laughs> it only it only took a year and a half, but let's go. <laughs> All right, seven plus. What's my constitution? I need my bookie. So I rolled a seven. Do I get a constitution bonus? Yeah. Yep. yep. Add your constitution modifier to the seven. Two. So it would be nine. Yep. So. Nine HP. Um, I will DM Austin and Lexi to upgrade their character sheets because I'm not doing it for them this time. Um, and... Make sure you add any uh, any feats you may get. I think eleven is a time is a place where you get upgraded stuff. I'm pretty well. Maybe it's twelve. I know twelve. Twelve is where twelve is where you upgrade your stats. I'm saying there might oh, be if okay. there might be uh, like uh, class specific feats that get updated at eleven, if I remember gotcha. correctly. And I know for some spellcasters, you do get access to. Six level, yeah. six hey. level spell slots. Yeah, I got an extra level three spell slot. God damn it! Fails hand. Uh, yeah, that's all I get is the extra. Uh, we're getting into the spells. We're getting into the meat of. Uh... Oh, by the way, Zach. Hmm? Good. That's. I can now. Do spell storing item. Oh. So you can store spells into an item. Yep. <laughs> Whenever just... I finish a long rest, I can touch one simpler martial weapon or one item that I can use as a spell casting focus and store a spell in it. Yep. And it's a one time use spell, though. Yep. And I don't have to have it prepared either. Nope. Yeah. Yeah. Artificers, man. They're, they're great. Uh, 
Okay. Well, everyone update their sheets by next Sunday. Um, what is the date? Is that February? Be February fourth. Okay. Fourth. Fourth. February fourth. Yeah. All My right. sheets already updated. I didn't have to do much. Yeah. Same. Fighters. Health and extra attack. That's it. Yeah. All I care about really is getting your health updated because I have to update the character cards. But I just did that. We good. Cool. Alrighty. Well, thank you for playing, guys. What's up, Soul Knight in Strixhaven? Uh, probably, maybe. The so Soul Knife is a maybe a Tasha's thing. Maybe. Uh, soul knife was added in yeah soul knife is a Tasha's cauldron of everything uh, I don't have that. so you're just gonna have to look it up on the internet and you don't text six fucking times you don't get anything yeah the next the next ability upgrade you get is psychic veil at 13th level so you have two more levels until that time Oh, okay. So I get nothing then. Yeah, you do. You are a soul blade, uh, rogue. You haven't really used your soul blade stuff Never. at all. At uh, all. Other than psychic whispers, which is basically just sending, essentially. Well, it's technically the, um, what's the shittier one? Shittier version of sending? Um, messaging. Message. Message. Yeah, Psychic Whispers is basically just message. Just a telepathic link uh, that you can send, uh, but it is double double the uh, double the length. So you can do it up to 250, 250 feet away, which is pretty nice. So. But, okay. Well, thank you for playing, guys. Uh, thanks for bearing with me through the, psycho, the psychotic brabble that is this, uh, this these vaults. Uh, should be fun. fun. Should be fun next session. Uh because that will be the hopefully the climax, but we'll see. Anyways, well thank you for playing. I gotta I gotta go take a dog out. So I will uh, <laughs> have fun. I will chat with you guys later. Bye bye. Bye bye. Alrighty guys, then we're gonna go ahead and end it there. I hopefully uh, we'll be on time and with everybody next Sunday. I'm, yeah, but, um, but we'll see. Uh, just a fair warning. I forgot to announce at the beginning. Uh, there is a chance that there may be no, uh, there may be no sessions or no session. Uh, and one of the Sundays in March, just because I, I may be having to help my brother move out. Uh, we're unaware if it's going to be March or June. If it's June, I'll be able to plan it out in advance. If it's March, it's just kind of really any day that we're available. It's it's a, it's a weird situation. That's all I can say. So uh, thank you for hanging out. Appreciate all of you. And uh, I will catch you. Uh, I'll catch you guys later next time. Peace out.